This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Tom Segura. I'm looking for a ride or die chick. She's Christina P. She's Rude. a government informant. Let's get on with the show. Rude. I'm very happy and excited to announce that I have added a fourth show. Holy cow. Oh, my God. At the Merriam Theater in Philadelphia, a.k.a. Phil Her Up Delphia, Pennsylvania. This one, just want to make sure I get it right, is going to be Friday. uh, What month? October? No, November. Friday, November 16th, the 10.30 p.m. show. All the other shows are sold out. So if you waited, you're now, the clock is ticking. Get your tickets Friday, November 16th, 10.30 p.m. There will not be any more shows added in Fill Her Up Delphia. Very, very excited about that. Um, Only thing else left with tickets is Fresno, Fartno. Uh, Bakersfield has a few tickets left. And there is also tickets at Fart Myers, Florida. Um, there might be also some at that Wednesday show in Montclair, Montclair, New Jersey. That's uh, the week of the Philadelphia shows. So that would probably be the 14th. The 15th is sold out. So that's it. Uh Click on the tour page. And as I mentioned before, if you didn't do it yet, a lot of you did. Thank you very much. Sign up for the... Uh, email list that I have. There's a big email, email announcement that will only be via email coming in a week or so. Um, that's what I got. Uh, Snitch, what do you got? Ha- hey, excuse me, Tom Bundy, Tom Wayne Gacy. What do you got there before All you right. tell your FBI agent? What do you, tell me <laughs> what you got. Uh, so I've added a show in Man Diego, California. The 7 o'clock show is sold out. So I added a 10 o'clock show at the House of Blues and then December 7th and fill her up Delphia at the uh, Punchline. Um, it looks like that show's about to sell, too. So we're going to add nice. a show there. December 8th, out of the 1030 show at the Gramercy Theater in Jew Dork Titties. And those tickets are flying, too. So if you're thinking about uh, going, you should definitely get your tickets because... Uh, I'm not staying longer in Jew Dork Titties. I got I got babies and stuff. That's right. One night, guys. That's how that's I it. roll. That's it. That's it. Christina P online. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing besides murdering? I, I'm doing shows. You gonna murder people after the shows? You can put together the case against me by just seeing where I tour. <laughs> are you gonna follow people? That's how they got that. Uh, uh, Vince. What was his name? Camuto. No, the the rape the co- the comic rapist. Ay vey. They were like, oh, there's a show in Gainesville, and then there was a show in Starksville, yeah. and then there was a rape in each city, and it's cool. They're like, well, it just lines up with your touring schedule, man. Yeah, that's just like you. Perfect yeah. cover. Let's get on with the show. Are you ready to get started, my dearest ball hog? Are you ready to go? <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. Boy, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, shit, boy. Blanca. Oh, good. Quiet. <laughs> nice and quiet. <laughs> What's happening today? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, Uh-oh. welcome everybody from Andrea Di Pre in uh, USA, California. And uh, I am uh, with uh, a very, very interesting uh, girl. Uh, her name is... Mistress Kawaii. Oh, hi, Mistress Kawaii. You have a lot of business, a lot of interesting. Yes. yes. Uh, but uh, uh, which is uh, your main characteristic <laughs> your your specialty your main characteristic well my main characteristic my specialty is uh, face farting <laughs> this is big time. who is Randy 
Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Oh man, I can't believe you're not tattletailing on me for something right now. Hey. But hey, it's good to be back. Always love doing the podcast. Okay. Uh, hashtag turn him in. It's uh, a movement on Twitter now. Hashtag she's a snitch, let her go. <laughs> That's the other movement. That's of only other psychos would endorse your side on these things. I'm just saying. A lot of people weighed in. Last no, week, a lot, lot of crazy you people. missed it, um, it really took off also on social <laughs> media about whether or not I have a ride or die chick. And I got to tell you, I oh do my God. not. And um, look, it's just, you know, it's your choice. You let me know who you are. Is it, is um, it, is it, is it my choice to protect our children? You're not protecting your children. I'm protecting our children. If you suddenly start going on a murder spree because the barista at Starbucks got your coffee order wrong, you don't think that I have a right to protect our kids and turn your ass in? Uh, first of all, I just got upset with somebody else. I didn't get upset with my family. So I don't see how the two are connected. Okay, because uh, I did it's, something uh, and I yeah. need your help, and you're like, "Nope, I'm gonna leave you behind." <laughs> yeah, you're right. Gosh, I am just a terrible wife. Well, that's the consensus. Hashtag for sure. turn him in. I told you I would help you bury the body in cases of manslaughter, involuntary, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but not uh, premeditated. Only if it's to protect her family. Yeah, and if you if we're hurting like a child molester or a rapist, then I take joy helping. <laughs> well, you. the listeners, uh, no, you the know, listeners don't know what's the what's listeners, reality. Okay, they don't have they don't have children to protect. Okay, <laughs> the listeners do have children to protect. They also, oh my god, uh, a lot of comments and messages. But we also got a bunch of emails. I'll read some of them right <laughs> no, now. No, please to you. let me this guess. Is, They're all going to be <laughs> no, no. waited. Okay, look, here's the first email. Okay, all right. Tom's wrong. If someone harms family, I'm all for revenge. Otherwise. <laughs> Run away and yes. call the cops. Thank you. Also, sulfuric Same. acid is used in pool maintenance. <laughs> uh, is that what? Okay. Just it's coincidental that they mentioned that, huh? Sidebar. This is what they mentioned. Hello, Tommy Jeans and Mommy. Christine, my wife and I were listening to last Christine. week's episode, and the question of loyalty was brought up between your marriage. <laughs> Would you rat me out if I killed someone? I expected my wife to carry the same piece of shit feelings as Christine, <laughs> but was stunned when she said that Tommy is 100% right. Sounds like Christine's mm, jeans nope. can only become a certain amount of high and tight before <laughs> she's the one that, that uh, the very vows she promised. Uh, looks to me that Tommy is not only the water champ, but the marriage okay. champ as well. No. Way to really fuck that one up, Christine. Uh, Todd is the psycho champ is what he is. More messages. Hey, guys, man, guys. Richard Kuklinski, a.k.a. the Iceman, earns a well-deserved reputation as a cold-blooded killer, but manages to keep his violent profession a secret from his wife and children for years. Hey, Chris Snitches, that's your nickname. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, these are weighted towards you in case you haven't. All I need in this life one for of you. sin is me and my girlfriend down to ride to the bloody end, just me and my girlfriend. That's Tupac. Um, Christina, I cannot believe how you would turn in Tom. Again, fuck you, Rob. See, see again, these are <laughs> that's all. That's my favorite email that's right, ever of come Of course, in. these are all slightly weighted towards your. When you read the emails, they're all in support of you. Let's just put Look, it that way. I just, I put this together and I. Just see what what kind see. of wife and mother would I be if I didn't protect our children from a psychotic... I believe the term is half-assed. Wow. Wow. Hey, I'm, I'm ride or die up until the premeditated I'm snapped because some guy cut me off in traffic. Murder. We got to get on this second spouse that. search. A okay, who's going to be your second spouse? Let's talk a about A dummy it. who's not going to fucking push back and give me shit. <gasps> your Dalmatian wife? Yeah, she's definitely not going to say anything. No, the Dalmatian wives don't say anything. No, That's I know. The point, yeah. yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, Whatever. Look, this is such a ridiculous topic. You're clearly about to snap anyways. Yeah, right. You, what are you, you're watching Ozark now. You're 10 episodes ahead of me. Oh, yeah, I'm the only one. No, I like that show, too. Um, By the way, if you face farted on people, yeah. you would kill them. You think so? That was a bad one last yeah, night. Yeah, that's what I was going to go. That, that's where I was yeah, going. Yeah, let's get back to her. Thanks so. for doing that. Oh. Wait, oh, a burp, too. No, come on. If you're going to fart like that, at least have the matches nearby. I know. I didn't know what was in there, and, though. Yeah, what is that uh, tease? Face farting? Well, um, <laughs> why don't I show you? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you get down? Yeah. No, but uh, what what moment is? Well, he's so, like. So <laughs> I love this uh, uh, setup. This is part of the you know, this is part of his arousal is pretending to not know what it right. is. Right, Andrea did, but for her, 
Is a show mm. called Her? I don't know. So but silly. Mistress Kawhi, she looks very cute. Um, she's dressed like me. She's wearing a jean jacket. I like her. She's got my same glasses on. I wonder on. if she can fart like you. I bet you she can. Oh, yeah, she can. Nobody Man. can fart like me. This guy's like, I do not know. Hey, what me. is a fart? What is a face fart? <laughs> and she's like, I'll show you. And he's and he goes like, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, what is, ex- um, can you can you explain to the people that uh, watch, what is uh, what is uh, 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 how do you say face fart? Face fart. Um, yeah, it's very confusing. Tis correggio and faccia. Oh wow! Come yeah, frigo. <laughs> I'll show you. Hey, pizza. <laughs> I'll show you. No, thanks. No, I, I have to go down. Yeah, yes, you have to lay on the wet the cement. Yeah, dipshit. That's the best way. If you want to know not. what I do in my specialty, okay. you should try it. I want to. It's real television. Do you really take Go ahead. Man, Italians, they'll fucking do anything. Such animals. Maybe not in front of the Jack in the Box. You, you know? think so? Here we go. Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, right. <laughs> she got one on deck. <laughs> yeah, she's always ready, Mistress Kawhi. Wow, she is fully smothering okay. him. Okay, I'm ready. So she's got one, a big ass, too. Two, three. <laughs> oh my gosh! She just farted on that guy's face. Yeah. He's smiling. He, and he loved gave it. it. He fucking loved it. And he goes, Oh my gosh! I did not know what you meant when you said a face <sighs> fart. Now I see it's, a, it's that you actually a fart in my face. Could you imagine having this job, this guy's job? Receiving face farts? Yeah, like you're going to be a reporter. We're mm-hmm. going to send you out to the Jack in the Box. <laughs> and you're going to let this chick fart on your face in the parking lot. This has got to be just a, a joke set up for... For the next oh, for video, her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. This is like one of those porno. Yeah, set up. Oh, you know this stuff better than like, me. You like he's me. a real journalist. <laughs> oh, I thought he was. His I'm a is... visiting America. <laughs> I met a nice lady, and she's like, "I face fart." He's like, "What is this all about?" <laughs> I, t- now, I fell for it. Then the fart comes, and the next thing, he's like, "It's a, it's harder here <laughs> between my legs." <laughs> and she's like, "Yeah, show me. It's a gooey." Yeah, Ew, babe. Stuff comes out. Babe, do you think she does oh that? My gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! We here. Oh. It's very, it's very dangerous, this because uh, they, they, they say that we are in war. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh my gosh! Uh, what did this? Babe, congratulations oh for no. your, uh, your uh, characteristic, uh, your beautiness, because you are a very, very beautiful girl. But uh, man. Do you think her dad... Okay, here's a scenario. What? Your dad's looking... You should try it. Your dad's looking to jerk one day, mm-hmm. and he's searching for the porn he likes. Yeah. And you know how all the other subjects come up, all the other types? Yeah. It's your dad, and then like you're he comes tube across... You're and you're just looking. Yeah, and it's his little girl. Like, do you, How many times do you think that happens? It happens all the time. Yeah. But if you're if you're the dad of of the mitri- mistress, the at least you're like, you're like, yeah, she's dropping farts. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's I, it's probably a different feeling than if you see your daughter in a blow bang. Do you think that's the worst thing to see your daughter do in porn? Let's let's no, no probably that's... double or triple anal is probably the worst. <laughs> that's so but worse. no, but blow bang maybe blow bang. Wait, what's a blow bang again? It's like all blowjobs. Yeah, but like it's it's when there's like eight guys standing around her and she's like. <laughs> oh like looking up, she, and she has to act uh, like she loves it. I oh, love yeah, yeah, it. I love it. How much do you and think you get? In it, just, how much? How much do you get paid for the blow bang? Because the agent's got to call her and be like, "All right, I got you a gig." Normally, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna hook you up. Normally, you know how you get like 500 bucks for a blow job? <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got you 800 bucks <laughs> for 10 blow jobs. Actually, for more, it's less, right? Probably. <laughs> But if you stay longer and you blow everybody there, yeah. you get $400. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because we're paying for your travel. Yeah. But um, free lunch. Free lunch yeah. and, yeah, whatever whatever you want to eat after. I can't, I can't imagine. I'm trying to think of what I would personally consider a way worser. Is it the blow bang or but wait, is it? But what is worse to see your child doing? Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Oof, oof, oof. You see something about like Fuck, dicks man. over the face and jizz on the face. Yeah, seems really kind of degrading, right? Seems. Seems. <laughs> I'm talking pure optics. So 
Uh, but then again if you know if there's two dicks in her ass you're like I fucked up I didn't do anything I did did things wrong right so you're saying to me what you're asking essentially is what's worse parenting what's the result of worse parenting multiple dicks in your mouth or multiple dicks in your butthole and vagine Mm. I think I think I'm gonna go with the double penetration I do think there's nothing worse I imagine than seeing it then I think it's the most challenging of the See, things I to think do in porn. something away from your face for some reason. It feels like <laughs> these guys, they did something to your body, but there's almost like uh, they hmm. did it to you and it's not it's not on you. But the blowjob is a voluntary act. Yeah. You can just you lay know? there and take yeah, the double penetration. Take, right. And be like, it was terrible. Yeah. But if you're like, ha, 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 and, she, and she's going from one to the next around the circle, Oof. Bop, 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 you know, Oof. and then every guy's like, hold on, here go. Uh, and then she has to like let it go on the, f- and then then do the big smile. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst yeah. part is that she's got to act like she's like, mm, I want it all, mm, all the cum. And then she some has creeps to- like, how was today? Like a bit. Ugh, how was today? Ah, yeah. oh, so much fun. Yeah, you like sucking on sticks? Yeah, that was awesome. I had a really good time. Yeah, she has to pretend like it was Ugh. the best day. Oh my god, you guys are so disgusting. <laughs> it's like so it's gross. the best day of her life. Was was sucking all those guys uh. off. Ugh. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, though. Speaking of, I, w- oh. I would rather do the fart face. I would do face farts all day. Yeah. Over any of the other stuff in porn. If I had to pick a uh, lane, what is uh, uh, face <laughs> face 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 <laughs> it's a face What is it? So I don't know. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. yeah, he knows what it is. He definitely knows what he, it is. He ain't that dumb. I am very excited about it. He ain't too dumb for face farts. Now, speaking of too dumb to come, yeah, uh, that's also been very popular. Big, big issue on our show. And we got this message. I think I found the right photo. For the not too dumb to come shirts. Cool. Hope you find this useful. Your ride or die, Chris. Rude. There it is. <laughs> and there's Forrest. And he's got his eyes slightly it, closed. It looks like he's jizzing. Yeah. 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 There you go. He's playing ping pong. Good job, Forrest. Yeah. He's even got a dumb haircut. You know. I was just thinking that. How dumb that haircut it's is. The dumb person's cut. Yeah. 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 yeah there's yeah. a certain look. What kind of a look? Well, dumb people have a certain hmm. mm-hmm. look sometimes. Sure. Hair, hair-wise. Sure, 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 sure. Hair. Kind I'm, of talk, an I'm F- talking strictly hair. FGT, kind of an RTD <laughs> look. <laughs> no, I got some bad submissions for FGT, RTD. You got a bad week. bite. Yeah, people were like doing things like, oh, it's FTD, RGT. No, I'm like, no, dude, no. Look, at, look at the letters first before <laughs> you submit. Um... So, oh, where's that one? I wanted to pull up this to you. Um, God, I, I hate if our kids did porn. But for some, I mean, it's just as bad if your son does it than if your little girl does it, right? So, do you remember our? It doesn't even answer me. Sorry, say it again. What's way worser? What your son doing porn or your girl doing porn? Well, everybody always assumes that. It means that you go, oh, it's worse than my daughter is doing porn. But I don't think, I think it's kind of jokey to be like, I'm really thrilled that my son's doing porn. <laughs> I don't think that really happens. I don't think a parent of a of a guy is going to be like, dude, it's great. <laughs> like, my kid fucks a lot. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't think that conversation really happens. But it is, they're more of a commodity in this business because yeah. they're so rare. I yeah. mean, a guy that can do that on command is... It's a talent. It's a talent, but I still don't think the parents are like, it's really great. What it's our, probably not. What it's our kid a, fell into. That's definitely. He didn't know how he can get hard all the time. <laughs> and now he gets to show people. And come on command. Yeah. That's a bigger talent. Comes a lot, and he comes than, when you need him to. Right. It was a bigger talent than that guy that claps and slaps his. <laughs> Actually, it is a bigger talent. It is, yeah. It's hard. Kind of should do. be a little more celebrated. Yeah. But I think it makes for a lot of probably conversations that, you know, I think there's a lot of parents in that in that position that probably go like, uh, he's uh he paints, he's he's taking pictures. A lot. The performance artist he's in LA. Yeah, no, he's done some acting, but he really he he actually is making furniture and he loves it. They're doing stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not like he's rock hard when you need him to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Rocco Safredi's parents, were they proud of him? Um, well, didn't his dad die? 
His mother died when he was younger, I think. No, his dad died when he was oh, younger. Oh, right, and the mother was alive. And then when his mom died, he went over to his mom's best friend's house and put his dick in her mouth and came immediately right. and ran away in shame. Right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just what anybody does when they're grieving. And Everyone then, grieves differently. When his mom saw him masturbating when he was yeah. a child, she winked at him and smiled. Oh, wow. And that kind of... And he was like, this is great. He's like, this is a good thing. I'm, I'm on the right path here. Yeah. Is that what your mom did when she found you? Nope. No. My parents really were so fucking weird about sex. Yeah, they kind of are, aren't they? Yes. I think looking back, you go, you know, when if you try to like analyze your parents, you realize they're just people. Yeah. You know, they're just people out there. And in most cases, people are doing the best they can. In most I, cases. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, you know, most people's parents are doing the best they can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some people are neglectful and shitty, I'm trying to say. Right, and that's the best they, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, like in my parents' case, they're not neglectful and shitty. No. They're doing the best they can. But I think that there was, you know, they were so uncomfortable with just, I think my dad would have been a little different about it if he hadn't been with my mom, who was much more so an old school catholic it's the catholicism and definitely, it's that yeah. south american breed of it mm -hmm. where it's it's a, it's kind of heightened i mean she did boarding school with the nuns yeah. you know it's like oh yeah dude i'll tell you and, and listen i wasn't raised religious my parents were communists they weren't communists but they were raised in communist countries yeah so when we came to the states we're catholic by tradition but yeah. not by practice i didn't get weird about sex until i went to Catholic high school, middle the Catholics uh, will do it. Too, elementary man. school. I don't think I stopped feeling guilty about it until I got married. I mean, and that's like not even from my home. That's just from school, like mm. stuff that I picked up. Dude, my parents were like, my, if my mom saw like a woman in a bikini, she's like, are you watching pornography? <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> so I would be like, oh my god, like I thought just a woman's body, right? You, know, that's you shouldn't so be crazy. like, you shouldn't be like, that's nice, you know. It's, it's so changed. Weird. It's changed in latter, like you know, like as we become adults. It's yeah. not as weird. But when we were kids, oh my God. Pornography, everything is porno. Like a, a woman's legs. A porno is a leg, a porno is a face, a farting. Porno. I remember asking my dad, I mean, think about it now. It's also just a, a change in culture, like the way people talk to their kids now. Yeah. You know? But I asked him if he masturbated when I was a, a kid because I was starting to masturbate. Sure, sure. And he goes, no. I go, <laughs> did you ever masturbate? He goes, one time. I go, one time? He goes, yeah, when I was 16. And I go, what happened? He's like, that's it. So I just went in my room like, fuck. Yeah, like, you're the weirdo. You feel yeah. like a real weirdo now. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about where yeah. you're like, what the fuck, man? It's not good. Mm -mm. It's not good for a kid. And then I tried to bring it up again. I told you that, right, where I came out of the shower. Yeah. And I, I didn't know how to talk. I was like 10. I go, um, <laughs> uh, so can I talk to you? And he was like, yeah. Uh -huh. And you know, you could tell when it's hard for a kid to yeah. say something. I was taking a shower. I remember this like it was yesterday. I was taking a shower and um, I was washing, you know, my privates mm -hmm. and um, uh, all this stuff came out. <laughs> and then he goes, next time don't wash there so long. <laughs> I was like, all right. That was it. And that was your big that talk. Was the, that was the conversation. I was oh, like, I'm trying man. to talk to you about this and not feel weird about it. Right, right. And he was like, yeah, you don't want to do that. Just walk just, to the room. What, yeah. What's on TV? Let's watch the football yep. game. But, yeah, I don't, but that's the hang up about sex. And I have to say, after having two babies, you really realize that it's just a part of the bigger picture of human reproduction. Oh, like, yeah. it's really not, you know, my, my boobs are food for somebody right now. My vag was a portal for some, for two people to come into this planet. Like, you, the, you know what I mean? It's not. It's no mystery anymore. I would sex and sexuality. It's like what the fuck. I would have a whole different psyche about this if uh, I was raised differently. Yeah. I probably wouldn't find sex stuff as funny as I do. Because it's too. so taboo. It's so taboo. Deep. Like it's in my brain's DNA. Right. That That's you true. know. Well, because I had the opposite. My parents were over sex, and it was so open all the time. We talked about sex. You know, my mother wanted to teach me, and I was reading books about it when I was, like, in third grade, and yeah. she would show me her edible underwear and her disgusting sex toys and stuff. Like, it was almost too much for me. It was overstimulation mm -hmm. to where, like, now I'm totally not. I don't care. I'm like, oh, well, that's a body. They fuck. We yeah. Know. But I wonder where we both got our love of uh, poop stuff from. That's a different story. Well, my dad championed that that's in our true. house. Yeah, my dad's a big poop. And I got to tell you, like, I didn't think it was 
I wasn't like, this is awesome. But I did react. I loved more <laughs> this is awesome. that it upset my mom. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. that was the that was more the draw of it to me. Yeah. Was that he was he would be like, take a shit? And he'd be like, Yeah. <laughs> like he'd get all excited and I'd be like, Yeah, I took a shit. I wouldn't yeah. be like as excited as he was. But then she would be so upset. I was like, This is pretty good stuff. Because yeah. it makes mom mad. It makes mom mad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes mom mad when we I just do... talked about shitting a lot in my house. It was just constant every like you just went to take a shit, you talked about it after. Yeah, no, he a hundred percent. He a hundred percent. Every day. Yeah. Still, how's you take a shit? It was good <laughs> shit. Yeah, I gotta tell you, tell you, I had kind of uh, <laughs> kind of sloppy. I mean, like a sloppy joke. Uh, every day. Yeah. My mother liked poop stuff and fart stuff. <laughs> it was actually my mom. That's hilarious. Yeah, she loved it. She's always, she, my mother had kind of what you would consider a lowbrow sense of humor, yeah. surprise. And she liked, like, an, they call it like a parost humor in Hungarian, like a farmer. Uh-huh. And I think that's totally where I get it from. And my dad, too, like Cheech and Chong and Eddie Murphy. And, you know, we're, yeah. we're not highfalutin folks over at the Pajitskis. We're no. definitely fucking dirt dogs. Speaking of this topic, do you want to, we, we actually yeah, had our question ahead. answered about queef versus fart debate. No, there's no, I've answered no, the, no. the debate. The debate was answered by a doctor for us. Oh, get your life. Yeah, so a doctor, the cock doc. Well, um, we'll reiterate, what's the question again? The, if, uh, um, the question was, you. I think you posed the question. You said, is it a queef right. if it comes from your ass or is it? Definitely. Oh, right, from butt sex. Yeah. So we were like, is it... If there's if, air if pushed there's a, in there. If there's air pushed in during anal sex, when it escapes, is that a fart? I'm sorry, escapes. When it escapes, is that a fart? And I thought it was not. And I think you said, well, look, it's a butthole. So when anything, any air comes out, it's a fart. It's as well, or it's definitely not a queef because a queef comes from the vagine. I get what you're saying. So yeah, here, let's see what the doctor cate- says. It's another category. This is a practicing <laughs> urologist. I can't believe I can't believe doctors listen to this show. I'm I know. stunned. And this guy has messaged me, and Gosh. and uh, and I've I've messaged. We've sent messages <laughs> to each other, and he's a real doctor. <laughs> um, People way okay. smarter than us are listening. Allow me to settle your queef versus fart debate okay. definitively. Thank you. This comes down. To definitions. Oh, you might be right, Jane. Okay. A queef is a vaginal expulsion of air. Your emailer was raising the question of whether or not it matters what the origin of source of said air is, but the answer is that it doesn't matter, (gasps) and here's why. (gasps) Sex is not the only source of queefs, and not all queefs are expulsions of air that has been forced inside. Uh For examples, there are diseases that can result in in the formation of a fistula, which is an abnormal connection between two hollow organs. Mm. A colovaginal fistula is an abnormal connection between the colon and the vagina. This can result in gas from the colon being expelled through the vagina. What? It's crazy. Even though the gas is a byproduct of regular digestion, since it's expelled via the vagina, it's technically a queef, air coming out of the vagina. Wow. Likewise, air forced into the rectum during anal intercourse that subsequently expelled is a fart because farting is the expulsion of air through the anus regardless of its source of origin. Sorry, Tom, Christina is right. By the way, huge congrats to Christina for queefing out that baby. You got it. Also, please add some tampon Florida dates so we can come out and see you guys. (laughs) Uh, This is the Keep Those Jeans High and Tight, Dr. Pecker Checker, MD. Um, is this guy really a doctor? He really is. Or I is swear he to just you. some guy in Florida? I promise you. I promise <laughs> you. Um, while we're on the subject of farts, I need to weigh in. Do, parts, do farts push the shit out or do browns push the farts right. out? The answer is that it's both. There's only so much space in sp- wow. inside the intestines. Everything is propelled all together by the muscle action. It's possible that air can filter around the browns, but the browns and farts are both pushed along uh, by what peristalsis and thus travel together. Teamwork makes the dream work, people. <laughs> this guy sent me photos from uh, his practice of stuff that would just make your eyes water. Should we see them? Can we see them? Um, we could see them. I don't know if I should. I mean, you can't. I'm sure you can't. Bra- I guess we could under the, like, hey, we're studying medicine here. But Okay. I mean, we're talking like diseased dicks. I'd like and- to see a diseased dick. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me set it up. Maybe I'll set it up for when our guest Sure, arrives. sure, sure. Yeah, we, maybe we can show our guest. Um, what a neat idea. I can't believe it. So farts push the shit out. 
Oh, this is something and I wanted to get to. shit pushes the farts out, too. You're not even going to marvel at this revelation. Well, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Dr. Cockdock. I'm just um, saying that from my whole life, I thought farts push the shit out. And then Dr. Drew came by and, and he said it was, what did he say, neither? Yeah. He was like, oh, farts no, no, no. don't push they, the shit they out. Happen, and shits don't push they're the farts ir- irrespective out. of one another. And now this guy's saying it's both. So it's like blowing my mind. It's like when you find out that light is both wave and particle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I know what it's you're saying. pretty exciting stuff. Well, I, I, I guess I did think that mm, shits push the farts out, you know? I thought that farts push the shit out. I thought my mom was right about that. Hmm. Because she would always, well, for those of you who don't know, my mother would say, whenever, I, whenever I'd fart, and I'd be like, oh, God, I farted. And she'd be like, be grateful for the farts because farts push the shit out. Oh. And without the farts, there is no shit. Wow. Yeah. In a way, she's right. <laughs> Um, our guest is here. Should we go get him? Yeah. Yeah. And there's some really important stuff I want to get to. I mean, I'm serious. Really important? No, this is good stuff. Like, like really important? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be right back, Gene. We're back. We're doing a little mic check here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. We're you, here. you sound different there, Tom. That's yeah, thank the, you. That's the guy that can't stop coming. That's and he right. He comes at his dad's funeral a hundred times. He's back in the news. No. You would not believe this. Stop it. So I was prepping today, and what happened was our producer thought we were recording tomorrow. Yeah. So he usually sends me a folder of all these files of things to play. So he messaged me. He's like, I fucked up. I'm sorry. So I'm like pulling stuff on my own. And it's not the same because it's like, you know, it's usually organized and I just hit a button and it plays. So I'm going through emails and I see this thing about this. This, this is probably like the episode that I would say, at least early on, best to find our show. It was a, yes. it was, we did a huge segment on this guy. When you're on your knees at your father's funeral at his casket and you're saying goodbye to him and then you have nine orgasms right there. While your whole family is standing behind you. Just makes you never want to have another orgasm as long as you live. Why not? But you know what? You just keep on coming. <laughs> and it was like a documentary like thing they did on this guy who has this condition where he just comes all day, every day. And it's ruined his life. But he orgasms. He, he doesn't come, doesn't come right. every does, time. No, but every, but he's it's debility. He's like, can't go to like my kid's soccer game. Can't just come on the side. Bl- you know, like, I'm like, go. And then he's just, oh, like you just orgasm. And he's got erections all the time, and he feels it was horrible because he's like, I feel bad being around my kids because I'll just start orgasming as I'm looking at my kids, <laughs> <laughs> and and he's like, you know, I can't, I can't, I, I feel like an <sighs> asshole if I'm ordering dinner and I come and like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just nothing but orgasm. What's the name of the condition? Oh man, it, it's probably it's like, in this it's thing. It's like multiple orgasm syndrome or something. That's too clean. That's got to be. It's got to be a funnier no, word. No, it's, it. yeah. oh, it's persistent genital arousal disorder. That's right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. PSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember that I talked yeah. about it in my last Pers- special. Pers- <laughs> Persistent <laughs> genital, genital arousal, arousal disorder. disorder. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So it's are like, there a, are there a wealth of people like this on the not earth? a wealth, but there are certainly. I mean, there's definitely more than one. It's it's, it's um, and they've had you know, there was one last year. It was in the news. This woman was hospitalized, and she was like, uh, and she just keeps like you know. <laughs> But this guy's, he was so sad, which made it so funny, because you yeah. could tell. The suffering was the, <laughs> the suffering part. was the funny At his part. father's funeral, it, just yes. coming. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. oh. That's what dad would have wanted. Like, love- <laughs> That's what dad would have wanted. I just had nine rather powerful <laughs> orgasmic sensations flow through my entire body. Ugh. So Nine? Anyways, could n- you yeah, imagine In a row, that? he would have shit like Coming this. at your parents' funeral? So, do you want to hear the big news? Could I imagine? I'm planning on it. <laughs> Here's the big news, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This guy was profiled on our, uh, we were obsessed with this guy. This is a few, I mean, a number years of ago. years ago. Haven't really, I had to go back through these drops to find them. It's like, it's in the first like 100 audio things we pulled, you know? So it's back like, it's back in the it's, day. It's, it's back in the day. Okay, here's why he's back in the news. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, he, tra- oh, yes. oh transition. No. Yes. Nice. No, it's like he's following our show. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, what that is is he wants to feel what it's like to come as a woman. Now, wow. Yeah. Now this she, guy coming is only so fun. <laughs> now she only climaxes eight times daily, so I guess it knocked it down a notch. So, oh, maybe that's. I don't know if that's part of the reason. Maybe no. it is. How could it not? To you think knock he just out. Got, he was like, I'm tired of coming. <laughs> yes. Transitions. He looks tired. He looks like he's just <laughs> just, just, just drained. <laughs> um, I gotta say. 
When he was a man, that's a bad haircut. But can I tell you? I love that guy's haircut. <laughs> I think that's such a fun guy. <laughs> the Lloyd Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> that, the bangs are always bad. We were that. just talking about dumb haircuts. <laughs> like, it's just you look dumb. It's but, the same hair over there. It, but it, it's not yeah. bad. He actually transitioned fairly well. I think it works better well. as a woman. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely fucked that chick. Really? Right? Yeah, I'd fuck that chick. Yeah. <laughs> Many years ago in a bar, some in a dark bar somewhere. But the, so so the not having the testosterone knocked down the orgasm number to only eight per so day. So only eight a day. Do you know how much I mean, how much coming that is? But I know, but so that's much cum. So much cum. But eight? now he doesn't come anymore. Like jizz. I mean, I mean, did maybe. he cut his penis off? Let's see. I need more information. <laughs> the transgender mother of two hit headlines having oh, the hundred orgasms a day. Uh, here, look, look, I nailed it. Persistent general, general arousal, arousal syndrome. syndrome. Okay, uh, Christine PJs. Decker, Two Rivers, Wisconsin, ultra rare condition. Um, an accident <laughs> triggered the illness. What's um, her name now? Christine? Christine. Hey, Christine Rivers, name. if you're out in, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin, come on out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be playing comedy on stage. Oh, it's a great club. It is a That's great, a have one. you been there? Yeah. Oh, it's the fucking best club. I'm just, go, Wait, I'm going there. In should two we weeks. introduce our guest first of all? Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just keep it, keep it, Guys, just keep it strange. We have with us the fantastic Andrew Santino. Hello, hi. Thank you. Thanks for, being for having here. me. Please. You know, I am such a fan of I'm dying up oh, here. Oh God, okay. that's him coming. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> you're such a great actor, you comedian. Are. Thank you, thank We've known you, you for years, thank and you. I'm so happy for all your success, and I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Huge. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, oh, that, that. That's him right that there. There he is, having orgasm. That's him collapsing. Now back to the most orgasm. important. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to coming. <laughs> so wait, when he walks, if he comes, he has to like brace himself. Well, sometimes it just, it just, it just floors him. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you know, sad. I've never had an orgasm that good. <laughs> this guy just have. <laughs> My cums are just fine. Everything's right. fine. Fine. Yeah. All right. And they're unprompted. Nothing's Man, arousing. Nothing this. like when you're. Does he wear a diaper? That's a good question. <laughs> How does he? He's got to sit. You can't just rip through underwear. That's just, <laughs> just tear through. I feel like he's out of cum. His like, cum diaper. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah, it's all out gone. Of it. Yeah, it's all gone. Yeah, there's no more. He fluid. can't come every time. No, but there's it's not just, enough he gets, jizz. He gets the <laughs> he gets the feeling every time. Like here, this this is actually this is the audio from this moment. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> And he hits the ground. <laughs> you can hear it hit the yeah. ground. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. how, how old is this? Is this uh, how old is she now? Oh, it says thirty. Uh, oh, to Christine remains married to her devoted wife, April thirty six. No, it's... no, so that's Chris, Christine. Wait a minute, 40. Christine's forty. I think it said 40. so. So yeah, so 40. Her wife stuck it out. Was a real G. Right, and That's we watched. A G. We watched an entire series on this called Lost in Transition about people that have been married for like 15 years, have children, and then the husband is like, "Guess what? I'm a lady." What and is they the, And they don't. It's really hard to stay together. But the women try. Yeah, they the try. women. The the woman here is sort of a ride or die chick. I would say. Okay. I think women. I think women in general, uh, assumably, try harder. If that's the other way around, yeah. dudes are like late, later. I think you're within right. seconds. Well, it's also like look at how forgiving. <sighs> that's terrible. A lot of guys. times, our women are to a man's physical traits. Totally. You've seen these super like these fat piece of shit guys. I've known guys who are like no fat chicks, bro, and they're the fattest guys I've ever yeah. seen. Well, we in my have life. them on our show. That guy <laughs> with no teeth demanding. Yeah, that demanding. He, yeah. That, yeah, he's like Crazy he's like. Person. I mean. I don't fuck with chicks like over 120. And you're like, okay, dude. <laughs> and like the dude just looks like a fucking candle melted and then stopped halfway through <laughs> it. And like just pig guys. And you're like, Jesus Christ. And here's the thing. That guy will score chicks all the time. Totally. It's unbelievable that the woman goes like, yeah, he's confident. <laughs> like yeah, just goes it, with them. It, it's one care. They take one characteristic to roll with. Women are like, oh, he's, you know, he's. Uh, smart or he's sweet. Yeah, yeah. And That's for this it. guy, he's like, "Gotta be a tight bod, not gonna fuck a pig." <laughs> I know a girl who Why just told so me pathetic? talking about her boyfriend. She goes, "Well, he's nice to me." I'm like, "I fucking hope so." Yeah, like that was the thing she was impressed. He's nice to me. There was a guy last night with a really good looking chick at Rite Aid trying ice cream. <laughs> you know how they have the, the Rite Aid, the ice cream. Uh, yeah, he's trying all the ice cream. He, massive, massive popular. Skinny little tiny girl right next to him. He's just like. Uh, Give me, now give me Rocky Road. You know, he's like trying all of them. And I was like, how does this, how does she get trapped? How does she end it's up the, in that situation? It's, it's, a, it's just low self-esteem yeah. coupled with uh, maybe he's got something else to offer. You don't know what his hog looks like or what his bank account looks like. Yeah, but there's everyone's okay. got a penis. It's got to be money. Because a girl, so. you can always go get another penis. I'm telling you, but just someone, sometimes those broken, broken wings out there, those girls, if you're yeah. just nice to them, I mean, that. You, know, yeah. you just gotta find the damaged one, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's a thing. Tip for the dudes: get the damaged one. Yeah. those are the ones you can manipulate. Yeah, right? really. you can own them. Yeah. These are healthy them. girls. These are broken. <laughs> yeah, you don't want them if they got their shit together. Right. 
Yeah, if they're educated and they've right. got a good no, family, no, that's no, no, that's no. So what a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, look for tears. That's who you want to approach. Yeah. Someone Absolutely. that looks like they always were just crying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's so what you want. Just done wiping them away. <laughs> right. And they're like, I'm all right. And you're like, hey, then they right. swoop in. But those are the girls that settle for the pigs eating ice cream in the Rite Aid. That's exactly those right. Your, those are your yeah. double anal chicks. There you go. For double sure. anal. DVDAs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real solid girl. Let's talk. Let's ask Andrew, by the way. Yeah. Um, fantastic comedian, actor, Andrew Santino, about ride or die. So last week we posed oh, this question God. and it got but a listen lot of feedback. Okay. I mean, listen carefully. Okay, you're married. Yeah. Um, so I guess should I pose the question as to you or what do you think your wife would do? I'll, I'll ask you what you think your wife would do. Okay. So let's say um, your wife's out and, and she comes home and she's like, hey, baby. And you're like, oh, I got to tell you something. She's like, what? And you're like, hey, you know, uh, you know that uh, FedEx guy and he always like he'll just kind of like pull the truck up and his his uh, mirror will like slap the the mailbox. She's like, mm-hmm. ah, that guy's an asshole. You're yeah. Like, yeah. So anyway. Today, I was across town, I was getting one of my juices, and then I saw him in the parking lot, and I, I don't know, it pissed me off, I killed him. But anyways, uh, no one saw it, and uh, I got the body in the trunk, so I uh, just want to let you know. Do you think she turns you in? No. No way. Because she's your she's, wife. She's my wife, yeah. She wouldn't turn me in. <laughs> she would She would have, she would first, because uh, it's me, she'd go, well, you're fucking around, and I'd go, no, dead serious. I'd show her the body. Yeah. And then she'd go, well, you've got a plan, right? And then and that's what she would want. Yeah, to know. Oh, she'd Andrew, want to know if I've got some kind of a plan. Uh, let me let me be clear here. <laughs> the motivation for the murder, yeah, was just that the guys with a uh, side view mirror dinged our mailbox, L- and, can I tell and you that something? set him off. Stop hitting my fucking mailbox. Yeah, he already talked <laughs> to him about it. See, my in my scenario, mail- we've already gone over this. Stop hitting the mailbox. And 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 so you kill him, and then your wife. You have children. No, no kids. Okay. There's but, Christina right there. There she is. There she is. That's her, that's her <laughs> immediate response. Her right. immediate response. Because she's been snitching. She's, can, I, can I tell you something, though? The fact that he would just willy-nilly kill people leads me she, to believe that he keeps, could willy-nilly kill me and, she, and our children. She keeps that's the why you have that's to... That's the problem. But no, no, no. Turn him in. That's right. See, if, <gasps> if I... No, no, no. If I'm that kind of... Un, listen, wait. If I'm that kind of unstable guy that kills someone yeah. with, over nothing... Yeah. Then you better do the right thing and help me out because I will fucking kill you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm saying if my wife was like, we need to tell someone, I'd be like, that's it. You're dead. You're yeah. fucking dead too. You and yeah. FedEx guy will be buried together. <laughs> See? 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 Yeah. See, he, but she's, but she, she's she keeps scared. saying this thing that I think is nonsense, right? Oh I'm talking God. about how pissed I am at the barista. Oh yeah. My right? God. And it's, it's a, yeah, it might be. I might be a hothead about it, but that's who I'm pissed at. Yeah. She's like, well, how do I know you're not going to turn around and kill our children? He just I'm did. Like, but Andrew just said, if she doesn't help me, I'm going to kill her. So, if you if you go against me, yeah. But see, that's my constant fear is me going against you. So then you. why would you go against me? Oh yeah, why God. would you? Then I have to walk on eggshells for the rest of our marriage. It's not eggshells. So after this, are you joining the U.S. Marshals? Or <laughs> are you going to do FBI? What's, what's your... I've got to protect our kids, Tom. You're a psycho. Well, that's but no, that's it though. I I would I would go find first of all. I'd have to find a backup wife. Then if you started questioning me, I'd find too. a backup wife. Who's your second wife choice? We're, By the way, second, looking, okay, where, second where, wife. What am I looking for? You're looking Let's for talk about your second wife. Your we Dalmatian talk wife. The, we talk yeah. about my, no, my Dalmatian yeah, wife. Dumb, you're, dumb. you're dumb, dumb. Like, yeah, just a, a total bozo. <laughs> just <laughs> like a 21 year old, barely there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're like, here's a handbag. I'll see you next week. Like that kind of thing. Give her yeah, just give her like a YSL purse, and she's like, yeah, you're the best, and you're. Like yeah. sit in this room for a while. I'll <laughs> sit be back. In this room. Yeah, yeah, Just give her yeah. some snacks or something. It's dark. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Fine. Give her a little G- cash. I'm gonna hey, give go her, give her a. Um- <laughs> Buy her a, not an iPhone, but like the iPod that looks like the iPhone, but just tell her it's an iPhone, you know? <laughs> She's like, it doesn't, I don't know, You're like, get yeah, calls. okay, we'll get, the service will get connected soon. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, see, I love that girl. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> She's got some really young name that they don't, that, you know. I'm reading a book about River. blowjobs and how you could do different blowjobs. You want to try one? That's what that girl does. She's oh, that's like, all she does her time. And then she's like, no nah, hands, watch daddy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> totally. Yeah, they call you and they call you daddy. They yeah. have to. That's yeah. just a rule. God. That's it's that's weird. my Dalmatian wife. She's just a she's barely there. Being called yeah. daddy is, is uh, it's I don't know. Pass. No thanks. I think it's I grody like it too. Hard or, pass. Or even poppy. Yeah, yeah, and I've had it. I've had, like it, uh, had it yeah. done once before. What are you talking about? From who? Oh, back in the. I mean, what do you think? From oh, a you were fucking 23 PhD when we graduate. Started. From I mean, a total fucking gutter slut. But poppy's poppy's hot if it's coming from a Latino woman. Yeah. Was but it if, a, was it a Latino pig? Yeah. Who was it? Just some fucking Maria. Ch- chorizo chaser, you know? Oh my God. Chorizo. Chorizo. Dame la verga. Dame oh my la God. verga. Some slut pig? 
course. Anyways. Well, yeah, but it's okay if it's from if it's a white girl that calls me Poppy. That's just Ooh, what, that's are, gross. what are we doing? What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. So you're saying that. Okay, so you you think your wife should be ride or die with you? When uh, you of course, met she's got to be first degree. Okay, let me tell, let's flip it. Lying if my wait. wife is like, hey, you know that bitch from the office that I fight with Dude, for the last fucking three years? I don't even have to ask you what your answer is. Yeah. I know what it she's is. like. I slit her throat. I'm like, gangster, where are we burying this yeah. bitch? You'd be like, should we dismember it? First? Yeah, like, dude. Yeah. You want to drain it? In the then tub? I'm thinking about camping. I'm like, where can we put it? How far away can yeah. we get? And where am I going? I got to get the 100%. tent ready. Yeah. If you came home and you're like, I murdered someone, I'd be like, what are we doing? Like, uh, how are we gonna do? No, this? you would not. Yes, you would. No, yeah, you would without question. God, I would take so much pride in coming up with the cover story. Oh yeah, and you wouldn't be in the least bit concerned about my Not mental state. Even a and little what's bit. What's going on? No in way. There. No. You had a reason. Yeah. <laughs> even at the time, if it doesn't make sense now, it made sense then. Oh, I got yep. you. Got to support. And it. female killers are way fewer and far between. That's true. Than man killers. Yeah. So I'd probably be pretty cray. I mean, if I'm you start psychotic. looking at me real psychotic, yeah. okay, it's a little different. But if what if like, I fucking kill you okay. then? I just Are you not afraid of me stabbing you in your sleep? Not unless you're taking it to a thing where you're like, like rocking back and forth, you know, licking knives. I'd be like, all right, something's up with her. But if you just told me a story, you're like, I got real pissed off. I did this crazy thing. Yep. I would totally be like, yeah, all yeah, right, I'm with it. you. But how, do, but how do you know it's a one-time thing? That's my problem with you. It, and I know you. You're very uh, impulsive. Uh-huh. And, and once you get a taste for killing, it's not going to stop. <laughs> Okay, Once but you cross that line, dude, we're think about, about it. We're not talking about brownies, right? We're right. talking about killing, killing people. Right, but once you cross that line, that's the one line you're not supposed to cross. Once you do, and it feels so good, I know you're going to like it, <laughs> you're going to go back for it, more. Why does it feel so good? It, you, I know you. You're going to like the thrill. It probably does feel really good it to take someone's right. life. I also think it's probably, I think it's also like, I th- I, well, I'm the kind of guy who's so like meticulous about everything <laughs> that so the good. cleanup and all that shit. Yeah. Would just would uh, that would probably deter me from doing it again? Yeah. That'll be the hardest. It's just part. so laborious. You're like, oh my god, I don't want to fucking I getting know. blood out. It's like paperwork. Be... You know, you're it's like, a lot. I gotta oh. fill all this shit yeah. out now. Yeah, like, like I just want. It's like buying a house. Yeah, I know. You're like, you're just keep like, sending just you emails. It. You're like, yeah. what is this? What am I signing? I don't want to do this anymore. No, I don't it's never... all cash. I'm giving you cash here. Can I just, buy just take it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the cleanup. Yeah, it has to be a. It's got to be a thrill to have someone tied up. I imagine. You know what I mean? Like in a basement, just the control you have over them. I kind of get that. Look at her face. She's like, what the fuck is going on? It is kind. That is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Come on. Oh no. Where you walk in, they're like, (laughs) and you just shut the door again. (laughs) You just walk in and stare at them. Don't do anything, and then close the door again. Okay. Just give them little glimpses of you. Okay, guys. (laughs) I hope your wife listens to this, Andrew. Yeah, she's going to play this for her. Yeah, and she better stay in her cage. (laughs) Right. Where she up. belongs. Shut the fuck Great, up. Great guys. Okay, moving right along. Next. <laughs> Let's just see. Oh, I just want to see if Cum Daddy has any more photos. Oh yeah, look. Oh, oh she's dating somebody. Oh, good for so, her. Really? They're cute. Wow. They're cute together. That? Let's see. Full body shot, by the way. I'm surprised. I thought that was going to cut off here, but it's got the yeah, workout pants I, and everything. And I will say, it doesn't usually Ooh, work out. Oh, for, sultry. It's worked out for her quite nicely. I it think does. she looks great. By Doctors, the way, that shot right there of that yeah. freckly arm, and that looks like literally me if I put tennis balls as as tits. <laughs> that freckly arm with that little. Bit of red hair. <laughs> That's me. That's me in a tank top. So this this condition was prompted for Christine when she was a man uh, and had a back injury. Uh, and oh on yeah. The way that makes sense. to the hospital in the ambulance, she started having orgasms. Oh my gosh. And the next day, according to this article, she had two hundred and thirty six orgasms. Ew. Yeah. The constant spasms leaving her pelvis in agony. I'd be on my knees. All these people would be staring at me. It was humiliating. Jeez. Oh man. I've been lying to myself for so long. I knew I was meant to be a woman. I'm glad all these people are switching, by the way. All these people that have wanted to switch for so long and now that society is like, do it, I'm like, go for it, man. Whatever. Yeah. I I think it's good if people want to switch. Go for it. Whatever you got to do. I think there's got to be nothing worse than than honestly feeling like you're born in the wrong body. Yeah, it's got to be the weirdest feeling in the world. That's got to be terrible. No, the worst feeling in the world is being you feeling like you're in the wrong body. Like a guy that's such a guy and you transition is just always going to look bad. You know what I'm saying? She like, always tells me that if I were to transition, I'd be the ugliest, the ugliest woman, woman, ever. woman ever. I don't know about ugliest, but you wouldn't be a babe. Yeah, yeah, no. you'd be you'd be a solid, uh, you'd be a big husky Midwest girl. You yeah. know? Oh my yeah, god! Because sure. you have broad shoulders. You know? Oh. Yeah. So much hair. But too. you see, some of those some of those guys, they they got. I'd be like a seven in Omaha. Yeah, you'd be a babe in Nebraska. Nebraska seven. <laughs> just cutting, just cutting trees and shit. <laughs> and they'd be like, hey, this chick can fucking lay the she wood. Could, she's hot. <laughs> 
I think I'd be an okay chick. I'd be I'd be a slut. So I'd be wild. So yeah, just fuck a freaky redhead girl. Yeah, I'd be a freaky yeah. redheaded girl. Yeah, <laughs> run around. <laughs> I also my legs are kind of skinny enough where I can yeah. thin them out. I can thin them out and do hot chick legs. You know, yeah, here's you the thing. By the way, all yeah. these guys, yeah, especially skinny. big He's guys, when they start to trans, we were watching that show. And this guy who trans was transitioning was like, everyone thinks I'm a man, and you know, he, he just decided. Yeah, and and he was a big dude. It's like, dude. Why aren't you running every morning? Yeah, you got to run. Yeah, lose weight. Do the, you lose do the, the weight. diet, right? Yep. You can't. Yeah. I mean, gonna commit. You got to commit if you're gonna you chop off the wanger. You got to commit it, dude. Oh yeah. She's like, people say things like, "I look like a man." Like you're two twenty five. Yeah, it's like, a big. You're big. <laughs> pretty That's big. Broad. Yeah. <laughs> stop. Stop benching. Yeah, dude. Come on. <laughs> you got to stop lifting at some point. <laughs> you got to play the part. That's why I might switch just so I can stop going to the gym. I might just thin out. Yeah. Do you work out a lot? I do. Really? Yeah, I do. I, I've changed working out what I work out. Now I just try to switch. I used to just be like, run, lift weights, run, lift weights. Now I just do different things to because I just it's so monotonous. Yeah, the gym so is so boring. boring. It's the worst. And the people there are so boring. That's mm-hmm. true. It's just the whole idea of it is just kind of gro- it grosses me out sometimes. When you see people like, you know, when you go to a gym. I don't have a, I don't go to a gym anymore. We I have one at home, which is great. But when I used to go to a gym and I'd see the same guy over and over doing the same things, and you're <laughs> like, ew. Yeah. This is like very like machiney, like <laughs> yeah. creepy, like. He's doing the exact same. He's like, what's up? That guy. I'm like, oh, fuck. That's it's up. especially weird when you see that guy over the course of time not making any progress. No progress. Yeah. Same <laughs> and, guy. And sometimes you'll hear that same guy complain like, I just can't. He's like, you're not doing anything right. Yeah. That's why you're not making any progress. That's even more sad. Yeah. I think He's what's stuck. really sad is when people post it on Instagram their workouts i think there's nothing more fucking boring than yeah, watching I, people work out on i don't want to call out anybody but there's someone i know that posts gym stuff all the time and i'm like oh and i really like you but yeah. it bothers me so fucking it's much cuz it's so like does like, it bother you as point? much as people retweeting compliments or <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's pr- pretty parallel it actually bothers me when someone i know category. comments on the gym photo in a positive reinforcement. Oh, fuck oh, them. And I'm like, you that fucking too. snake. That's so self serving Go after it, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get it, brother. <laughs> Looking great, bro. Yeah. Shut the fuck, you phony. <laughs> That's such a phony. Also, the, the, the gym people, the few gym people that I know that do that, yeah. They're not even in that good of fucking shape. <laughs> like that's the hardest part. Wait, say sw- again? They're not that good. They're not even that good of no, shape. That's what bothers me. It's not like that's the best boom, part. Boom, boom, Jack. Yeah. When you're like, whoa, like fuck. the Rock. He's yeah, like, he does his big. He's like, yeah, yeah, that big fucking grin. But is it's, that a cocaine smile? Oh is yeah. That, is that how positive that guy really feels? No naturally? way. Because his smile. And he's like, hey, <laughs> he's like feeling good in my anchor. I'm lifting this morning. Shot eight movies yesterday. <laughs> Shot and, uh, eight fucking films. I got to do That's four. I'm almost done with my first workout of the day. And you just see the smile just never fade. And he's like, all right, guys, get after it. Bah. And you're like, man, it's he's like six million views. Didn't they say, uh, there was an article that came out that he suffers from depression, that he admitted he has severe depression. Uh, you're like, now I yeah. feel like a jerk. Thanks. No, 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 no. Because if you spend all this time working this yeah. and not your brain. Yeah, something's wrong. It's, I'm not making fun of him, but you're going to get depressed. Yeah. Like you're naturally, if all you focused on was one thing all the time, yeah. it's like, I, I you know what I think is depressing too. No. I, I've thought about this. I think it's naturally depressing those guys that get to number one, number one. Totally. I think it's <sighs> gotta be. It's so much attention and there's so much pressure. And I don't think it's a coincidence that all the number ones work out like lunatics. I think it's like, I think it's actually kind of depressing to get, to get. To that level. Do you think number ones always self-sabotage or do you think that's just no. a pattern of it? No, I don't think they all self-sabotage. I, I think there's just so much pressure to maintain it. And there's a natural just ebb and flow. Like, you look at someone like Tom Cruise. He was the number one of number ones for a huge stretch. Yeah. Then, like, obviously some weird personal stuff happens. It's all public, right? It's like these Scientology things Yeah, the crazy interviews. couch jumping. I but love then, this like, woman, yeah, all that good. shit. He, he puts it <laughs> back good. together and but he also is known for having uh, like i mean there's no a uh, kind of an odd point of view personality and it's all tied to staying in that top slot i think right they get you get obsessed with being right. up top yes. or they yeah. make those posts and i won't say who but there are people i follow they're like Number one, just grinding. That's all I know how to do. Grinding, working. It's like, dude, what's what's your life about? That's it. That's all you're gonna do. Is I, you are already like a multimillionaire. Yeah. Just take a break. Go I like reading that when I'm not doing anything Me that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite shit. And you're like, I'm winning today. Yeah, I didn't do shit. I feel fantastic. Yeah. I don't know who said that. I think Norm Macdonald was talking about that on something when he was like, yeah. sometimes my day is so consumed with 
getting a meal and the concern <laughs> for the next meal. Yeah. That my whole day is just going to get food, having it, doing it, then going to get new food, <laughs> and the day is over. And I did a whole day. Yeah. I, I was love like, that. I was like, I've had those days. Yeah. And then when I see people like doing the mm. thing, bragging, I'm yeah. like. I feel good that I but didn't I, do shit. I also think that some of the the grinding braggers, oh, yeah. they're really that. they they're doing that for themselves. <laughs> oh, totally. Way, not not just as a, a oh. thing as a show off. I think they need it. They need to do it to keep going. Because totally. without the act of documenting it and showing and getting the reinforcement, something they lose something. So they need to go check out how hard I'm working yeah. and tell me. How proud you are of me for how hard I'm working. Well, know? I think there's two kinds of people, though, that like some people, like when they get accolades, they have to tell you. Yes. And some people are embarrassed <laughs> of telling you. Do yes. you know what I mean? Some of people course. are so yeah. scared to let you know that sometimes when you find out something about a friend and you're like, I didn't know you. I didn't know you did that. And they're like, oh, yeah. And they're kind of embarrassed about it. But then I have so many of the other friends. <laughs> I have someone that will call me. I wish I could say his fucking name. He will call me and tell me. A great thing that's just that he's just acquired or achieved or whatever. Dude, we all know Bert. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna say? What am I like? I don't know what you expect the response to be. Awesome, right. great. See, uh, I, I think I like to uh, brag online only. Like I like the but online bragging the is social okay. media because brag and that's it, it. It's just it's there if you want to see it. Gone. Great. No. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I just realized what makes me so annoyed about the workout braggers. Huh. Is that you're supposed to work out, dipshit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. I took a shower today. Hey, I'm fucking showered. I brushed yeah, my I teeth. S- I took a shit. Like, no, dude, you're supposed to do that stuff to yeah. maintain your life. There's no reason to brag about that. Well, we're also stuff. all supposed like, to grind. Like, we're that's, we're always all, supposed to be. Are oh, supposed to be working all the time? We should be grinding, dude. But I mean, they're <laughs> acting like they work hard. <laughs> You know right, I mean? no one it's else like, does yeah, to maintain their life, right? Yeah, you work hard. But that's you know what the, the irony is? The people that are like grinding the hardest. Like imagine The Rock being like, on the grind, just had my personal <laughs> chef cook my personal breakfast in my right. personal gym right. with it. Right. Meanwhile, a dude is like, I'm on the grind. I'm on my fourth job today. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. tired. I have six kids. I make 40 grand a year. And The Rock's like, yeah. I can't tell you how much I respect you. <laughs> 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 that big ass smile. That is so true, Andrew. It's like the guy that delivers my Amazon packages. He's that fucking guy's grinding. On yeah. the grind. By the way, if that guy's bragging on the ground, being like fucking on the yeah. grind, I would be like, respect, dude, we for need sure. More yeah. of those. We need more yeah. of those grinders. Yeah. yeah. But those guys don't want, yeah. they don't, this is what. Digging a ditch. <laughs> Phoenix, it's 115. Shovel in the air. Grinding. Grinding. Yeah. That's the real, that's for sure. But those grinder. people won't brag. That's not because that's they're true. the false narrative of cool guys. Uh, do what The Rock does, then they feel like I gotta get up to that to right. do the. Oh, I yeah. watch an insane document. Um, Viceland put out a piece about um, these people in Miami who rent exotic cars. Yes, oh, I started did watching you watch that. I, I got like halfway through. Oh, it. I don't want to spoil I, it for the oh, end. Really? Is fucking creepy. Because I saw the text on screen. Yeah, that was like quarter of the way in where they go. Chug, like, chug, like, chug, like, chug, chug. I'm sorry, I was just drinking yeah, water. I'm the champion. <laughs> the, the, I'm a, a water grinding, way dude. In grinding, bro. That's all I know to do. <laughs> they're already saying they're like, we can, we were not able to verify any of the claims yep. by this guy. And I'm like, that's not a normal thing to put up on screen. Like, they're obviously prompting you to pay attention to this <laughs> yes. guy. And then <laughs> they show him like, Doing coke and like, yeah, his friends were. He, he's grinding. He he's said grinding. yes to doing coke on camera. Yeah. Like, <laughs> bro, he's, he's what like, are you doing? One a.m. We about to hit this town, oh, and then shit. yeah, I, I didn't get through it. I mean, not. I I want to see the rest of it. The but. basis of it is to tie into what we're saying is like, it's this fake. Like, we're all winning, we're all rich. Yeah. And he basically is saying how sad it makes him that he's got to keep up appearances because uh-huh. yeah. he can't. Right. He literally can't, and he's like. Doing everything he can to do anything he can to lie, cheat, steal, do whatever just he can. Look like just to look like it's just to fake it. That's what's even can more. Can I ask gross. you something? Do you know? Do they cover this? I was trying to figure this out. So this this piece is all about how, especially in Miami, mm-hmm. the exotic car rental business is. <laughs> is, is, is <laughs> that's where, that's the only place. Oh, yeah. Miami. No, without like, a doubt. I mean, it's not yeah. in Topeka, Kansas. <laughs> Even the guy who's All like, right. he's like, if you come Lunatics. here and you don't rent a hot car, you're a piece of shit. Like, <laughs> they, they drive that narrative. Yeah, so yeah. everyone's like, okay. And it's all crazy expensive cars. We're talking yeah. like entry level, 250 grand for these cars, right? Lambo. All Lambo? the way up. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Ferrari. Ferraris, Rolls Jesus Royce, Christ. you know, no- Bentleys. Nothing, nothing just regular luxury. <laughs> no. It's like Uber, insane no. luxury cars. If you cars. had like a yeah. S550 Mercedes, they'd be like, get the fuck out of here with that piece shit. Piece of like, shit. But anyways, <laughs> I'm seeing this, sh- I'm watching, and you're like, okay, people rent these cars. 
Do those businesses acquire all the, that'd be way too much capital, right? To be buying. So it doesn't 20? talk about it on there, but yeah. of course, this our brains right in the same. I started doing research because I was like, there's no way they have enough capital to buy 15 Lambos, right? Right. right? And so there, I found a, a few other articles. You can look it up about people that get these um, these subsidies from major high end, if they're reputable mm -hmm. from high end companies to like le su lease and sublease from them and that's uh, how they do that that's how they do uh, it. but so they yeah. pay a, but they pay a super premium on the they on the lease well, sure. to be I, able to sublease i rented one as a prank uh, yeah. on bert like a year ago where i you know it I was so it was so Lambo embarrassing and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was like you bought this and and i was <laughs> talking to the people that rented it to me about this i was like because they were cool and they were like, oh, they, they follow like comedy and they were like, you know, we just had in the car. I go, so you buy all these cars? And they were like, uh, yeah, like kind of like dodging around. I was uh, like, no, I'm just curious. I'm not trying to get into the business with you. Right. I'm just asking you. And they were like, yeah, these are all our cars. Like it wasn't like they didn't weren't forthcoming with how they actually are able to do. I this. think there's a million little sneaky holes. Like there's one on Sunset. Um, there's one like right on sunset next to a bar and one time I talked to the guy because there was like three cars in the showroom I was like how many do you have he's like as many as we need and I was like no. no that means you don't have shit but you're able to find them somehow yeah I think they go find real owners or find you know companies that collect or whatever and they pay them a premium over what they're going to lease it for. It's just, it's got to be a, sh it's a shady business. It's a insurance. crazy business. Like, Tom, when you rented the Lambo, did you put your car insurance or did they no, you have I to took get additional theirs. insurance? I got, I, for that, I take theirs. When I rent cars on the road, I'm like, my insurance is great. It's what did fine. it cost to rent the Lambo? A G? I, it was like a thousand, something yeah. like that. It was for a day. <laughs> you know, it's expensive, but I go, I go, you're not doing enough business to. You know, to pay off these kind of cars and make a profit, there's no. no way, man. No, they'd have to be literally constant. Like the second you bring it back, every someone's there waiting. Yeah, and no way. They have their busy moments and everything here in L.A. too. You know, people. You always see those high end cars, Beverly Hills, and sometimes it's an owner of a car, but a lot of times it's these exotic Sunset Strip stuff. You know, yeah, it's all rentals. Yeah, it's Kids, rentals. People from out of town. Although I was, I met this guy who was a. <laughs> liaison you know these guys in LA that don't do real jobs that you're like but they get paid good money and you're like well how did you get there yeah he's a liaison to this rich family from Dubai and he basically is there everything go get it go do it you know what I mean like the, the ultimate gopher yeah it does literally everything for them and he's like oh yeah they constantly rent cars they won't just buy a car yeah he's like so they'll rent a Bentley for like two months mm -hmm. and then give it back and then they'll rent you know a Ferrari for a month and then give it back and a Rolls Royce I was like, would that's they just don't feel like buying. He's like, no, they just don't want to have anything acquired. They just want to like get it, give it back. Like everything is a lease. Everything is to rent. Hmm. Wow. So there's people like that that I think come to LA that spend absurd amounts of money on shit like that. And those companies must make a, a ton off them. But my, they don't uh, care because they're there's so much. They're like, no, nah, I just want to give it back. My cousin came here. Yes, if you're that wealthy, wouldn't you? Like, oh, I, yeah, I they kinda, If I was that wealthy. My, but there I, is that kind of shit. money in LA. You, see, you see it. You're no, like, there's, there's, oh, there's yeah. really Princes, legit rich people living Especially here. in that area that you were talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, on Beverly. Uh, was it the Beverly Hilton? We were, some cab driver was telling us that these girls come during the summertime. No, at the Beverly Wilshire. The Beverly Wilshire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there's a uh, Arab and like, you know, like Middle Eastern people yeah. coming. And it's like before, I forget before, what time of year it was. Before Ramadan, maybe? or Was it? Yeah, I think so. Don't I respect, mean, don't disrespect Ramadan. Don't you dare. Don't no, you no, dare. No. Don't you dare. But these these girls come with like their chaperones and then their fathers and brothers are back home in, in the other gold country. And then they spend all this money on like Chanel clothes and all these labels. Shit. Wear them and then leave, leave them, them behind. Because you can't the, wear them back home in some countries. Them. Oh, whoa. So you it's can't about. can't back into the country. Dude, that's that. crazy. Yeah. What are they? Like, where does it go? Does someone like? They're like, I don't know. Throw it in the trash. It's Fifty yeah. grand. You see some some homeless dude wearing a Chanel dress. <laughs> yeah. like, that guy's that I guy's mean, nuts, but he looks good. The, the thing is that the hotel was. We were there to have lunch with someone, and we were like, Oh, that's right. We were ha uh, we go. Uh, what is oh, going on? Because it was so like so busy. Bon it didn't feel like a normal day. Right. And they're like, Oh, I, I don't remember if it was Ramadan, but it was some time of the year. They're like, Oh, it's blah blah blah, and uh, this always happens. We'll get like thousand you know, princes and whatever here. And they had like armed security people and they're like, they're just, it's nothing but Lambos, yeah. Ferraris, yeah. Rolls Royce. Yeah. And and then uh, you saw hundreds of shopping bags from all the Rodeo drives. Because so they, they can't wear them back home because they have to wear <clears throat> traditional gear yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so ignorant. I don't whatever. know what that's called. Yeah, yeah they yeah. said like, oh, it's just fun. Like they'll buy it and wear it out to dinner. And then there's, there's, there's a- Hijab. 
hijab. The hij- yeah. hijab, hijab, is it? Yes, an abaya hijab. Hijab. That sounds really nice, but you say it with that face. I don't know hijab. if it's... <laughs> hijab. That's how they say hijab. it. Hijab. Yeah. There was. A, I watched. I watched one of these YouTube wormholes where. People don't go, talk shit about them. Don't. No. Don't, don't. don't talk because, some, don't talk shit. <laughs> just want to talk some shit? Don't talk shit. So if you want to talk some <laughs> shit? Talk some shit? <laughs> Is that wine box video? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh my you God. Know it. Yes. That's yeah. so one of the best. Yeah. We love that one. Um oh, I watched this video about people that go rent cars in um the em- in, uh, what is it in Dubai in the Emirates or whatever. Yeah. And they leave them at the airport. Like there's, a, you can look it up. There's this video. There's like thousands of cars that are like really nice cars because if you don't pay your, um, if you skip payments, it's a prisonable offense in Dubai. <gasps> oh dear. So they'll what they'll do is they'll drive them to the airport and they'll catch a flight out of the country and and ghost. Wow. You look 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 it up. It's insane. There's like Ferrari, Ferrari, Beamer, Mercedes. Like that they the, just didn't make their payment on. Yeah, they were. Li- yeah, and they just leave the cars. It's like a it's like a car graveyard when, at the airport. Uh, when my my cousin from Peru came here to study English a few years ago. He was with, it was all foreign people from all over the world in his class. And he goes, oh, uh, he's like, there's this kid in my class from the UAE. And I go, yeah. He goes, you know, they just gave him money to come here. And then they just bought him a place. And he takes out the whole class. Like in, he'll rent limos and like uh, sprinter vans. And is like, let's just go out tonight. Pay for everybody. And they're like, what the fuck's going on? This guy's the best. And and he's <laughs> like, he's like, I don't worry about it. Like, uh, my government just pays for it all. My government. Yeah. He's like, they just give it. And he's like, they, he would bring out just like. what? Like, wait, what school is this? This is a. How, he was studying. In, they were studing English at USC. Oh, in college. And, yeah. yeah. But it was like, at, uh, you know, an adult study. Sure. Thing. Just, now, just, what do you mean the government? Is this the, the UA, oil? UAE. Right. You can, he said that this is my cousin told me that if you're a citizen, you can go to the government and be like. I want some. Money. I want some shit, and they're like, "All right," and then give you money. And uh, I want to buy a house. Here's the money for the house. If you go, I want to study anything at any part of the world. It's on them because they go, "You're going to bring it back here." So go study oh, that I thing. See. That's a pretty, la- a pretty wealthy. lax system. I want this. Okay, I, I like no. it. Yeah, I love. Yeah. I love it. We should move there. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Become citizens no. and then be like, "Give us the money. We want to leave." We you guys leave. could yeah. live there, not me. As a well, lady. after we murder that FedEx dude, we might have to move. <laughs> dude, there. that guy keeps hitting the fucking mailbox. <laughs> what do you want us to do? Yeah. God damn it. You too. The first conversation is really nice. Hey man, I, you missed the you um, you hit my mailbox. You notice you... that? Because I think you <laughs> yeah. might not have seen it. It's you just... hear that that smack, <laughs> and then he, and then his but he does this to you, and this pisses you off. He goes. Oh, I don't think I hit it. Uh, I saw. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, man, I didn't I didn't hit it, but sorry about that, man. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay. Second day, hits it, and then you go, hey, dude. Remember yesterday? You remember how I, we just, you know, I, I saw the truck hit it. T- now I did see it. Yeah, I saw it It was today. loud. I, I, I think you heard it, too. And then, he, and then he says, it sticks out a little too far, if I'm being honest. Your mirror? No, no, the mailbox, it sticks out too far, so. Okay, well, maybe yeah. you go around it. I can't. It's a tight oh. turn from the corner. All right, I got to go do some other deliveries. <sighs> now you start. Now you're cooking See? up this guy. Day three. You know. Day three, now he really gets it. Now yeah. Tom's waiting for the guy to mm-hmm. come. No, now it you're waiting outside like for me. Lying in wait, as they say. <laughs> and then I say it to you. I go, hey, man, <laughs> smoked it today. Sorry about that. I, I clipped it bad. I clipped, took that turn fast, and I'm a little hungover. Um, also, one of your packages... That you were supposed to get, it was a big one, something important. I don't know. Um, it broke at the warehouse, so, well, you know, you okay, f- figure it out with them. Okay, yeah. All right, all right, man. Have a good day. I'll see yeah. you later. No, you too. <laughs> That's it. It's brewing. Yeah, yeah. underneath. Ooh. Right. Yeah. So three a... three days of this. You think? And then I see him at the juice bar. Yeah, here I am at the juice bar. <laughs> I know, and I'm at the juice bar. Yeah. I know the guy that works there. He's been waiting in line for quite a while. Yeah. I walk right in. I go, Mikey, what up? Boom, he, he's got my juice ready. Yeah. I don't have to pay for it or nothing. He gets up there, wants his juice. I got the last of whatever the juice that he needed. Oh, fuck. And, and is that what... Now I go, see, now I go out the stairs mm-hmm. next to the back parking lot. Mm-hmm. It's really like not even a parking lot. Sure. Just like trash cans and stuff, dumpsters. And I see FedEx fucking Frank, mm-hmm. right? And he's just like... Mm-hmm. And he's he's like, yeah. God damn, this is good. He's like making a scene of it. Yeah, he's bragging you know? about it. God, he goes, like, fuck, they get the best mango here. Yeah. The best mango here. <laughs> Fly this shit in? Yeah, chili or something? must. And that's when I go like, oh, hey, man, I noticed you fucking parked without hitting anything here, you know? And he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you want this? These are good. He's like, ah, he just throws it on the ground. <gasps> Check it out. He goes like this. Did you uh, want some of this? Oh, shit. And he then spells- he, hey, <gasps> look. And he hits Tom in the head with the empty one. <gasps> what do you think happens next? What do you think wow. he's going to do? Yeah. Yeah, man. How do you kill him? I mean, I think there's probably, 
like a a piece of juicing equipment that broke that's in the parking lot. Yeah, there's a grinder or something yeah, out there. Some type of blade that yeah. kind of half you Oh, know, from, half from broke. the juicing yeah. equipment. Yeah. I, l- sure. I luck out sure. in that when I pick it up, it feels like it's actually a handle for. Yeah, you know, like I it's can, been made almost for Yeah, that. it's made for this. Mm-hmm. And I just he's just like Eat a dick, man. <laughs> Try UPS or something like that. Right. And yeah. as he does it, I just right behind him. Oh, oh you do this, the neck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah, yeah, neck yeah. Okay. Yeah, but there's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. It's been a hit to a little much, to be honest yes, with you. So and I think over. I probably panic, you know, a good bit at yeah. first. And then it just hits me that, like, the parking lot is not a parking lot. Like, I, we're both in an area where there's no cars. Yeah. Right. You know, so I'm like, oh, there's no one seeing. I look around, there's no cameras. I'm like, oh, man, I just. All right, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Mm-hmm. But so, your your clothes are covered in blood. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the way that he hit the ground, most of the blood is like that way. There, yeah, yeah. It's forward, and well, it's going into a throat. drain. Sure, I got you. You slit the throat from behind. Yeah, but but look at like this. If you if someone came like this, woof, and his arm is here, it went out that way. Uh huh. So he's uh-huh. slit and push. He yeah. push slit. Oh, I see. Okay, poof, okay. gone that sure, way. Sure, sure. Now the sure. main thing I gotta figure out is yeah. So I I, I back my car up. I pick him up. Mm-hmm. I throw him. In the trunk. Yep. And then I look at his truck and I'm like, ah, eh, just leave it here, I guess, you know? Fuck yeah. it. They'll think he came here and. It's illegally parked, I bet. Yep. What so about the witness? There was a lady with a dog I don't know. walking by. You're not going to address She saw that? me do it? Of course. Wait, this is a new development. And then she goes, oh, is it that comedian from Netflix, Todd Segura? <laughs> Todd. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just Todd, like, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big fan. Big fan. You know what, though? You know what you got to do with her? <laughs> mm. What? Yeah. You slit her throat. No, you just got to hit her with your car. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, an accident. <laughs> That's true. Oh, no. That is true. You got to hit her with your car. <laughs> yeah. And if, then, she, if she says my name, yeah. 100%, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she knows you. Yeah. If she knows you, it's just, uh-oh. But the dog, you don't want to kill the dog. No, you don't want to no. kill the dog. Dogs are cool, but you definitely got to hit her, and you got to hit her hard. You got to yeah. hit her nice and hard. But now you got blood on the grill of the car, and then you've got a body in the trunk. Yeah, but you're going to burn all that shit. Are you going to yeah. burn the whole or the whole car? Well, the yeah. truck, I, mean, I think, I mean, the truck, first of all, I mean, that, that thing, it's yeah. 5,600 pounds or something. I mean, it's, yeah. come on, know, 40 yeah. miles an hour, even that, it's like, sure. it's sure. over. Yeah. So, sure. yeah, I just try to clip her, you know, if anything, she lives, there's definitely memory loss. She's probably... You know, talking with her eyes, looking at letters, when the computer sure. goes, hey, yes. <laughs> one of those. Mm-hmm. So It was Todd Segura that hit me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes like 25 minutes yeah. to get it out. Um, but I don't know. And then I just bring home, I, I tell you what's up, and I'm like, what are we going to do with this thing? Yeah. Right. Babe. You know, now that now that you present the scenario that way, like real talk, mm-hmm. I I might have to help you. See, I know because See? really, there you go. Well, here's the thing, because like I would it makes panic. me love you again. I would panic and be like, "Fuck, dude! Like, I, what am I? What are we gonna do? I can't have you going away to prison because you know. Think you got, about you got, you got a tour in 2019. You got all these dates coming yeah, out. Right, You're right. selling out all these shows. You can't bail on that, dude. Yeah. Well, that's why I, the people are waiting for you to think, show up. I mean, think about all this. That's what I'm paper, thinking paper, about. Paper, 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 yeah, paper, yeah. Think about the sex would be so hot. He tells yeah. you this conversation. He redoes, redoes the story, <laughs> and you're like, I gotta fuck this guy. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Dead body or not, yeah. this is hot, man. Or I Shit. tell you during sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, you're oh, like, wait, what happened? Even like, better. I was at the juice bar. You're like, yeah, and then. Right before I come, I go, I killed that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like this? Uh, I killed, yeah, yeah, no, I killed that fucking guy. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, guys. It's good. By the way, this was sent to us so many times, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. I'm sure it would have been in the folder if Blue Band had prepped it, but I found it. Just I, You may have seen it also. This was sent to us a fucking 200 times this week. Okay. Yes, seen this I guy? did see that guy on Twitter. You yeah. seen this, Andrew? <laughs> yeah. This yeah, guy is such a fucking psycho. I love it. Where is he? Oh, I don't hear him. We need to hear him. Oh, it's muted. God damn it. This is why. Yo, 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 yo. What's cracking? What's cracking? What's motherfucking cracking? <laughs> black guy always say black, white, brown, yellow, orange, pink, Asian. 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 I'm looking for a thick booty. Bitch. Hey man, you know you like tennis you're packing? Hit me the fuck up. Don't come dry, mama. Bring your jug. Bring a blunt. Let's get wet. Let's Ugh. get fit. I this isn't turning you, you on. Remember this. <laughs> Love. Stay wet. Ew. 
Thick booty bitches, I love you. Yeah, see, this is a perfect example of what we were talking about yeah. earlier. The guy with no teeth making demands. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, I like this guy. Here's the thing. Love I, him. I think it's authentic. I think yeah. this guy really gets high with women 40 years younger than him. And it's probably cool. Like, has, like, a decent place where it's, like. It's not bad. Like, yeah, he's like, uh, you, got, you brought a blunt. <laughs> I brought all these drinks. You know, he's like, show me ass. And they're like, bad. all right. Andrew's like, in. Yeah. I just think, like, he probably. He's probably super chill about everything. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he seems like he's he's woke enough that if a girl came over and was like, "I don't want to fuck," and he'd be like, "That's chill. Let's just get high as fuck." That's true. Yeah, yeah. he That's doesn't true. seem like a forcey, weird, creepy guy. What is? Where does he live? What do you? What kind of digs does he have? He's in. He's uh, just up by Bob Hope Airport, just by Burbank Airport. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that a, like an apartment complex? The it's one of those old do. It's a. It used to be a house. Now it's a duplex. You know? Oh sure, yeah. Yeah, and he's got uh, he's actually got the dominant side of the yard, so like the other side's concrete for the driveway. But oh. he's got like a nice little patio <laughs> with those little string lights that he's got. Yes. It's pretty chill. If I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cool. He's got a cute, cute, tiny little fucking fluffy dog. Absolutely, totally, it's super cute. Dude, and you know this guy. Yeah, he's not that bad of a dude. <laughs> I feel like he's getting a weird he, rap. He's online. the kind of guy who's had <sighs> a pretty decent job yeah. for 40 years yeah. same game you know yeah. he's always got cash on him yep he's got a like he has a cleaning lady yep. you know so his place is yeah nice pays and... her well treats her well yeah. wait 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 but yeah. why no teeth mm. did oh, that guy not there. have any teeth he did not have i think any. he just had a lack of teeth i don't think yeah. he had no teeth i think he was he was i think he was you know tooth well, he, deficient he's not know? new to the drug game i don't know if you know yeah what I mean? like no he he's, loves talking about, he's talking about getting wet and rolling blunts like yeah he's, I'm oh, sorry. I don't know. Get, I thought getting wet was sexual. Well, it, it, it could be double. Yeah, double. Oh, yeah. It's, it's also no, PCP. It, yeah, it's PCP. When you dip a blunt in in, it's formaldehyde. It's well, in, how embalming do you two fluid. Know this crap. We've been, been in the game. Been for in the a game while. for a long no. time. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard such we've, a thing. We kill life. people. We've hit bodies. Yeah, we've, you two go way back. Yeah, yeah we've been getting wet for years. Damn, yeah. homie. <laughs> Wait, are you guys fucking with me? No, no, that's real. Getting getting wet means dipping a blunt in in embalming fluid for formaldehyde. And or, what does or, that do? Or PCP. People makes you feel good. Makes you feel really <laughs> yeah. fucking good, dude. We've had some nights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. So he's had the couple of runs. In fact, he used to before he got this desk job. He was working. <laughs> he was working at a funeral home. That's what, how he discovered. Oh. Here's the thing, too. Yeah. Doing like getting wet regularly, it it helps him not think <laughs> about his first wife and those kids that he hasn't uh, seen in a long time. Sure, 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 sure. So you do, you do, you get high like that. But you know what's so sad it's a nice about distraction. that? She Santa Clarita is not that far. It's not, and he should go up there more <laughs> yeah, often. Yeah, but he's working on himself a little bit right now. <laughs> yeah, he can't go see those kids in this condition. No. no, and all that child support that he's had to pay over the years, he can't afford dental work. No way. No. It's like pay the wife and the kids or fix my teeth. Well, at this point, a lot of his kids are thinking, you know, do I introduce him to my grandkids? You right. know, he's, he's yeah. great, and they're like, I don't know, I don't think he's ready. You know, <laughs> but there, that's the, the irony. of The whole thing is, he has a, a nice little Honda Civic that he, you yes. know, a functioning car to drive up there. But since he's eco friendly, he walks to work because it's only you three think and a half. This guy's eco friendly. Yeah, no, he is. It's three and a half miles from his house to his <laughs> office, so he doesn't drive enough. So they booted his car. So it's like you know, one huh. thing he does do it's wrong fucked. though. I can tell you, he does do wrong. He uses too many of those uh, car smell. Oh little, my god, uh, it's he, insane. He has like yeah. fifteen of those. Like, um, it's like uh, ever wintergreen. Wintergreen. That, yeah. He goes overboard at the he gas. He does too many. Gas of them. He not only hangs the trees from right. the rear view. But also on his turning signal. Oh yeah. God! And he puts the clips in the air vents. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. and under the seat. <laughs> do you so think, many. Do you think when you ask They're him like, how it. It how his good. days going that he elaborates? Like when he's at the checkout at the. It grocery. depends if you're cute. Yeah. If he you're makes a, a lot of woman, small talk. If you're a woman, yes. Yeah. If you're a big booty girl that's looking to get wet, yeah, then yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He'll if tell you're all about his day. But if you're a guy, he's quick to brush you off. Yeah. If you're like, hey man, how's it going? He's like, everything's fine. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't know if you're a snitch or a PO or what's your. You know what I mean? He doesn't totally. know your deal. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know your a deal, PO. dude. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> he doesn't know. He's just being... you know who would snitch right away, right yeah, over there. Me yeah. in prison, <laughs> Chris Snitcher. <laughs> Chris. But although how you presented that scenario to me, you guys, and I felt the panic. And but do you I see think how I that might help him just see? out of panic? But do you see how that works? Because Fuck. when you empathize with us, you understood the, where yes. that pain came now, from. Do you think Fuck. this has a similar vibe to you, this guy? Oh my Hello, god, he's the worst. I'm tired of white women. They just break my heart. Well, I agree. I'm a good man. Work hard. Uh -huh. Try to do good by everybody, like the Bible says. Yep. 
What's now he watching are, that's today? That's no teeth. That's no teeth. No, yeah. that's that's genuinely no teeth. But yeah. hey, guys, at least he likes. He's educated. He's watching Anderson Cooper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he's he up on the news, current, events. current events. And I, I am a fan of full volume while you're making a video. <laughs> totally, <laughs> it's, it's great. It's great. Good camera it's great angle. for getting yeah. your message out there. Yeah, framing wise, it definitely. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Has has no idea Anderson Cooper is gay and would turn that off if he found it out. Oh, uh, probably. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Totally. hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. He would be what in such mean? shock if what? you told him. What? What? What do you mean, gay? <laughs> like goofy? <laughs> like a weird guy? You mean he does foo foo stuff? <laughs> totally. Yeah. No idea. No idea. Yeah. I feel like I feel like that. You know how many you know how many people like Kevin Spacey coming out coming out to the world at a very inappropriate time when he also got, you know, like accused of touching boys? Yeah. So many people in middle America were like He's not oh, of gay. Course. Of course. No. Gay? No. Of course. Where are you from originally? Chicago. Oh, okay, okay. But I know, like, Did that's you... what's funny. The epicenter of the Midwest is a city that's, like, such a diverse, cra- like, you know what yes, I mean? Culture. yeah, yeah, But yeah. then, like, you know, an hour west or south, or two hours south, you're like, oh, boy, this is a different, this is a different well, world. Same in California, though. Same thing, yeah. Oof. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but the population of southern people in southern Illinois... People in Southern Illinois, I remember as a kid going down there, they have Southern accents. That's so weird. And you're like, what? No one. No, we don't. Not in Illinois. We don't have that. But people will have kind of like a twang in the down south. Down, down, yeah, down, yeah. Peoria. And you're like, what? I love no. Peoria. But you they can, say it like it's the deep south. It's you, not, can, hmm. you can run into that in a lot of states. Yeah, they the, just have Southern the rural, accents. Yeah, it's so weird. It's uh, You can run into it in like uh, mid-central California. Yeah, yeah. that is you know? so yeah. strange to me. I don't know how that ended up that over there. I think that is really weird, too. Really weird. Places yeah, with it's... creepy names like Visalia. Yeah, yeah. Visalia, yeah. yeah on the is... way to San Francisco, right? Yeah. Bakersfield. Oh, Christ. Oh, more of this guy? Just yeah. Just have straight up sex. Foreplay. Foreplay? Look at, at his eyebrows. Foreplay. Mm. Somebody smells good down there, you know? <laughs> I keep myself clean. They should keep their stuff clean. I agree, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Making more He's demands. More He's demands. He's not said anything wrong, though. He's, He's got to keep wrong. yourself clean. Now, this guy's living situation is significantly different. <laughs> yeah. It's all, yeah, it's, what do you see? This guy's pretty unfortunate. Actually, he he has a house. Um, It's a, not really a house anymore, but it's like a... <laughs> it used to be a nice little piece of property he had in Tarzana. And uh, <laughs> when his wife left him, everything left him. The need to clean and take care of it. And sure. It's overgrown. It's it's really really sad. His neighbors have called <laughs> multiple times to HOA about him. Do you think he has animals? Multiple? Any cats that piss he everywhere? And he like, doesn't. Well, he lets them roam. He I had don't think he hey, yeah. past tense. He had animals, yeah. but then they just die. You know what I think he drops on you when you come over? <laughs> if he gets you to come over, you have to all you take in all this shit. He's like, my mom's in the back. You're like, Your mom? <laughs> he's like, she's real sick. She don't. She don't make much noise. She's real sick. And you're like, all right. Ugh, and you yes. hear it, you're like, what's that noise? I'm going later. Yes. That kind of thing. He's oh, like, she don't make. She don't make a fuss. She smokes. And for someone will be here in the years. morning to change her. Don't. She's don't in the her. iron lung. You know. <laughs> yeah, the- yeah. 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 <laughs> It's like, she'll be fine. You hear that? His lips are also a kind of a shade of purple, mm-hmm. yeah. which to me could indicate the like, tobacco use. Like or or he's dip. Cl- close to dying. <laughs> could be could could be inching his way towards death. <laughs> he's about. <laughs> He's just about a hair away from dying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you mean to tell me? Hold on. Hold on. You don't think this guy lives a very, very healthy lifestyle? I don't. I feel like I don't. Let me see him one more time. Well, I just feel out like... of nowhere, bam, teeth Please. are in his mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute on here. You know, to get you a guy, don't look all great. you to stay with you longer. Yeah. What? He won't cheat on you with another woman. Okay. He won't cheat on you with another guy. Now, did he uh, put in the top and the bottom? I'm only for this seeing video, the bottom just teeth. Just the bottoms. Oh, just, I feel like just the bottoms are on yeah. this one. He's a looking guy. He can have anybody he wants. Yeah, that's true. I think he really wants you. Whoa. He wants you for that. Look yeah. what I got on my arm. What's he watching today? This is a game. I think it's yeah, like a highlights. football game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's full volume. You Loud. Can, you can pick up what's going on in the game. It'd be so great if he shot this behind the TV, like just sitting right behind the TV. <laughs> That'd be even funnier. It's going to say halfway in the TV. One of my biggest pet peeves Ugh. is talking to somebody on the phone. And like, it, let's say they don't, within the first few seconds, if you hear the background like that, you're like, hey man, are yep. we, are we going to talk? I hang up. Yeah. I mean, my dad still, I'll be like, What's that noise? I'll try to like say yeah, that. Cue him What's up. that noise? He's like, oh yeah, I got to turn TV on. It's like, oh, oh, and he stands up. <laughs> I got to find the remote. <laughs> turns it off. I'm hold like, on, God. hold on. 
You know what's oh, interesting? So loud. This ba- this fake wooden paneling in the mm. background and these beams, these are like old San Fernando Valley type houses. Totally. This is definitely an old ass. You're right about that. Yeah. Everything. We didn't actually show Andrew how we were introduced <clears throat> to this guy. This is actually how he's known to us. It's from this video. Oh, oh I'll make you come. Oh. I <laughs> last lady 10, 15 times before I even went boom once. Wow. Yeah. That's really good. Yep. Do you guys think he's lying? I don't know. I always think it's cool, like when guys brag right about how good they are about on sex. I'm like, this is I, a cool guy. I think he needs. That's you know? most guys. Yeah, I feel like, like when I've ever like, heard, I know how to <laughs> fuck. You're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. probably guys know how to fuck really well. Yeah, if you're like, <laughs> I think he's got like some form of. Wait, are you super strong too? Oh, that's good too. Tough yeah. guy, and he's strong smart guy. When they brag come about being smart, I'll make you come. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. I think I gotta be honest. I think he's right. I think that sounds true. He'll make you come. Yeah. Do you think that's his pitch when he meets a girl? Yes, that's I'll make all he's you come got. 10, 15 times. Like, how much time you got? I'm like, um, I guess I got time to come. I would love to come 15 times. Ugh. Well, what Tom and I were talking about this is that that's not the um, the lure for women. No? It's like make it, <laughs> make you don't want to come 15 <laughs> times? I don't know. I feel like you're joshing us. <laughs> like that's how a dude would entice another dude. Yeah, that's in the gay community. That is that is yeah. the same pitch. I'll make you come 10, yeah. 15 times. The guys are like, heck yeah, let's, let's go to your go, house dude. right now. Yeah, <laughs> what are we doing at this bar? God, it must be amazing. It must be so good. How much fun? How it's much gotta fun? Be fun? My neighbor, my old neighbor in the old building, he he was a pump king. He was the pump king. That's what I called him because he would fuck all the time, always yeah. awesome, fun party coming, coming, new people coming by. Just and I'd sit there on my window, just staring. Yeah. Waving sometimes at some of the new visitors, you know, thumbing them up like, yeah. fucking get ready. Like, what you did tonight? I did a spot. Yeah, I did one spot and I jerked off. My my wife was sleeping in the bedroom and I ate some cereal, but I, I watched like, I you. Fucked three guys tonight. Yeah, Isn't I that saw. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he would. Sometimes he would fuck on the living room and I'd uh, he'd leave the blinds open a little bit. Nice. And I wouldn't watch for for long, maybe two or three nuts. <laughs> and I'd have to go. <laughs> we got an email from somebody. So last night, my wife and I decided to partake in marital love. I had finished my part of the oral exchange, and it was time to receive. Everything was going great until out of nowhere, she starts laughing hysterically, which is never a good sign. Hmm. I tried to stay in the game, but I wanted to know what's up. Through her laughter, she managed to cobble together a, I'm sorry, I was just remembering when Christina said, that Tom's asshole is hot and gamey. Yeah. So thanks for that, Brian from Toronto. You're welcome, Brian. That's yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Now, nice. does your wife? I don't want to. Well, Go f- give it to me. Okay. Does she touch your bee hole? Is she a fan of your bee hole? No. You, you know she's kinda... she's tr- she's. I think she, she gave it a whirl once, and I I panicked a little bit. Sure. Yeah, and I just it's like my no fly zone for some reason. Oh yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah, why. Yeah. Not for some reason. The shit comes out of there. It's definitely yeah, but a good I mean, reason. I I'll tongue the hell out of hers. I love fucking licking Sick. ass. I'm a wow. big ass licker. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. big ass licker. So it's just you know that's it's that's for. Yeah. But she doesn't have to reciprocate and eat your scrum. No, I don't know. I don't really want her to. You know, what I mean, yeah. I'd appreciate a little bit more gagging on the old knob. But uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could slob on it a little bit more, yeah. but no, the butthole is just kind of like, eh, let it be. You I feel know? like you guys are soulmates. Yeah, I yeah. Swear. It's like listening to my husband. It's a couple talk. of more, a couple of more of those. Yeah. But no, the butthole is just kind of like, um, yeah, we gave it a whirl. We can't, we know, yeah. you know, we it's tried not your it. Thing. Yeah, we yeah. we ate at that restaurant and it wasn't that good, you know. <laughs> so it's like, eh, we're not gonna come back. I mean, I've only tried to get you to just like take a little test drive, you know. Yeah. Wait, you want me to lick just to try to lick your scrap? Yeah. But it's too hot. It's like that's what I said it's hot and gamey. There's yeah. a lot of hair. You know it's, where it's not as gamey? It's and smelly. You, could, you yeah. could make up for it some. Maybe like some uh ball choking, like some ball, Ooh, ball yeah. just to put ball, those ball, balls ball. in your mouth. But like that's really so but do the silly. do the Yeah, like I know. The pop. I, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's not even real life. It is yes, real life. It is. Like, yes, it is. Yes, it's real. <laughs> it's very real. I'm a ball hog. I'm a ball hog. I ask Christina, yeah. I'm a ball hog. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Sierra Sin, and I'm a ball hog. Yeah. <laughs> Sierra Sin. Yeah, sniff those balls. <laughs> sniff them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, all I, I want know, you to I do. Know, I know, A little I know, huff, I know. you know? I mean, just stop being so, so reserved about it, you know? Just get in there. Get in those. Mother balls. of two. Are you a low hanger? Do you got low hanging fruit? No, I think they're pretty. I Your think beans? Yeah. Are they standard. still tight? They're high and tight. Yeah, they're good. No, he's got great balls. I've always complimented you on your balls. Yeah. Mine are getting lower, and I'm getting worried about it. Really? They're starting to swing. 
they're starting to be they're starting to sw- swing a little there bit. There are we like I won't say that this happens with any regularity, but if it's July and it's a, it's the right or wrong toilet, yeah, it will get some splash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, yeah. yeah. got a couple of swingers. I get I th- I got a little weird out about it because I asked another buddy and I was like, "Can I see your nuts? Like, how tight yeah. are your nuts?" Huh. He was like, "For sure." And he showed me his nuts, and I was <laughs> For like, sure. "Oh no!" Like, I think you're really. I've they're, never they're seen just, anything like my dad's. If that's oh well, in my future, God. okay, that's what I'm scared about. Because my dad's nuts are they? He puts them, they're on his knees. Yeah, and they're insane. And my dad looks like a pig from like a pig's ball <laughs> yeah. from, from the back. It's Dude, so bad. I, I, he I'm got, scared of that. He's never shy around me. And I go, oh, like I saw him from behind. I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ! He bent over to put on underwear. I was like, are those your balls? He's like, get out of here. And I was like, Dude, <laughs> those are fucking balls. crazy. Yeah. Look like grocery bags. Like yeah. they were just so. <laughs> I've seen your dad's full. balls too on the I cruise know. when he laid he laid on the bed in box shorts and he his balls swung his out. legs over yeah. and I, I caught a glimpse. And then he called. He was like, I go, Dad, cover. He's like, Come on. I was Come like, on, they're just my nuts, son. I go, Dad, I it's your daughter. So like, what? Like, she's seen sound, nuts. You sound like your mother. I was like, <laughs> I kind of have seen a lot of. I nuts know, but in I was like, house. do you think she wants to see your balls, dude? And he was like, All right. <laughs> I was like, All right, man. God, a so part terrible. of him, a part of him was so cool. Can with I it. ask you guys something? Oh, sorry. Yeah. It, no, go ahead. Interrupt. No, you. go. Does it hurt when they get hangier? Like, does it hurt? Because my tits no. hurt the hangier they get. Yeah, but that's so the weight differential. Sure. This is so light. Think about how heavy. That's heavy. That's like. That's Pounds. these no this doesn't hurt. It only hurts when um it it only hurts sometimes in bed like if I'm uh, in an awkward position sleeping and if I roll over a weird yeah. way and I'm like ha 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 and I got him caught up a little bit. All you right, can uh, right. or you can sit like especially wear jeans and oh, like, yeah. that that line will kind of you'll be like yeah. oh shit. Yeah, that you hurts. Know? Cuts it's your nuts in half. And it's probably going to increase more as you get older for sure. We should make jeans for your nuts like two little nut <laughs> yeah. cups for your jeans. <laughs> Brilliant yeah. idea. Huggers, nut huggers. Nut huggers. That's yeah. what well, the jeans will be called. Or even yeah. like a stretchy panel for that area of the crotch. Well, they mm-hmm. make they make um they make night pants like that. I really like like uh you know, like nighttime jammies, they make re- really like big cups for your nuts and your balls. Yeah. <laughs> I really love that. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. I wear these nighttime pants sometimes, and my cock sits in this little, just in this little bowl, like a yeah. little cock and bowl. Aww. It's like someone holding it up. Like, yeah. Just like gently. Sweet little lady. And it's nice like and it. soft, and it feels like this sometimes. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Do you, um, <laughs> do, are you a fan of ball play? Do you like ball stuff? Sure. Go yeah. for everything. Do it. Go yeah, for it. Give yeah. it. Give it to me. The only thing I never over the years, the only thing I learned is one. It takes me way too long to come from a blowjob. That's just an honest fact, an unfortunate truth. I remember being like Do you remember get, getting my that? first one, and I was like, "Wow, I'm never gonna come. This is bad." Yeah. Really? Yeah, it scared me. And then I think it fucked with my head. Then for years, I would thwart women from giving me blowjobs. Really? Yeah, because I well, because I was like, "Can we just have sex?" I'm like, "Yeah, okay." Like if it was foreplay, it was like, "Let's just fuck." Because I was so scared that they were gonna be like. Why can't he come? From- I heard about multiple comics doing that as a like to like their to Dalmatians on the road. They'd be like, <laughs> "You want to know something? I can't come from a blowjob. Yeah, I just gotta <laughs> stick it in." And then the girls be like, "Uh uh-uh. uh." And he's like, "It's never happened." And uh-uh. they're like, "Yeah, that happened one from me." And it was just to solicit. Oh, that's blowjob. brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's smart. Kind of, yeah. No, yeah, my, mine's first. more pathetic. Mine's like I just am in my head and I just can't. You can't. Yeah, I, I, I just get don't that. come that fast. I from just don't yeah. come. And then I, I get that. conscious. I'm like. She's been sucking my cock for way too long. This is bad. <laughs> I feel like a mean guy, you know, because then they yeah. kind of look at you like, like uh, "Are you gonna come?" And you're like, "I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry." And then they're like, "Am I bad at this?" And you're like, "Kind of, kind of bad. Yeah. yeah, you're pretty bad." That's the best is when you get into their confidence and they're like, "What should I do?" You're like, "Try harder." And then they, <laughs> "Who are you?" God. <laughs> That and I don't like. I don't like. I don't like super aggro. I like ball play, but I don't like it when people oh, right. are like, yes. like tough. Oh, like, no, what are you getting so fucking? Yeah. But pe- some people like hard, weird shit. Yeah, I've seen so. those videos. That's fucked, that dude. Crazy. <laughs> they like to get sm- like yeah. smacked in the like. Even this that hurt, that hurts on your balls. Sure. You'll see people sure. full on slapping. The pulling one is weird. Remember? When they, you know, they rope the bag and they pull it yeah. down. Yeah, ah. there was that one we used to watch. I know. We used to watch a Brazilian video. We used to watch. No, um, Spanish. It was uh, it was uh, Argentine, and it was uh, oh, the guy, they love shit like that. The guy in the office. It was the setup was um, he's in the office like waiting for an interview, mm-hmm. you know, and he's like uh, waiting for the job. And then she comes in. She's like six two, <laughs> in heels. Blind. You're like, yeah, she looks like a real office worker. And um, I'm here for jobs. Yeah, and so <laughs> okay, plural. She right away is like, how bad do you want the job? And he's like, uh, a lot. And then. Dude takes his pants off and you and he has the underwear on for a while and sometimes with the underwear's on you go ah eh, this is probably a pad in there or something yeah 
Then the underwear comes off. Mm-hmm. She starts kicking this guy in the balls. <sighs> so with the heels. With the heels. With the heels. It makes me, like inside, makes me curl up. She, um, she pulls. She pulls oh, oh she dude. Saying, uh, suffer. She was like, suffer. <laughs> suffer. Right? No. He's like, Ugh. and remember his, his legs would shake. So and then funny. It was the like, best comedy. She was like, uh, you used to ask me to play I all the time. Loved I loved it. It would make me laugh so yeah, hard. It was so hysterical. weird. And like, then like, what the fuck she, she is this like, I want to see blood. I want to see blood. And then, <laughs> bam. Out of my <laughs> dick? No, yeah, lady. Dude, don't. Crazy. His, the leg shaking is what made me laugh the most. Yeah. He's like, uh, uh, and then he'd ask for more. It yeah. was like the weirdest uh, thing. I don't know how you can, because um, honestly, the pain of much, much less than that Co- makes me collapse. Oh yeah, like Our I'm at my dad's funeral, and I'll you. fucking like I won't be able to move. One tap, one. So Ow. it's like, how does this guy take this? It's. I think at some point it's mental that they're just like they're so fucking deranged that it the the pain is so intense, it's like satisfying. You know when people deal like they these like pain fucking mongers that are like the the harder it is the more that the less they feel in a weird way because it's like so intense it takes over i can't no too I'm not, sensitive i'm not interested in it either nope i don't like being hurt man. last po- week oh go ahead go ahead i was gonna say the, the you made me think like the funniest porn scenario to me that i see that i watch the video but it doesn't turn me on is you've been steal you ca- i caught you stealing have you ever seen that one <laughs> no. oh my god it's, it's so like silly. it's so f- oh wait yeah 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 I think it's I've like seen this <laughs> It's like the, the employee. It's like you're my new employee, and she's like, "I'm your new employee." And he's like, "Did you steal something?" She's like, "I don't think I took anything. How how would I have taken something?" And he strips them down, and of course they have something like in like insane. It's like a laptop that she stole in her like in her you know in like her jeans. Yeah. He's like, "I saw you so- stole this." He's like, "I'm gonna have to punish you. I'll do anything." And you're like, th- "It's such a poor, poorly written scenario because scenarios now are getting like they're either." insanely good and they turn me on or they're just so bad and so shitty and creepy like the brother sister shit yeah, yeah. i don't know who that shit's that's so, so weird people love it they apparently love it. it's fucking everywhere like most popular i think is like, all incest things are super popular oh i open up yeah. i open up Pornhub. any of those right away stepbrother fuck stepsister and the, the, i like that they always say it um like who the role is they're like sis she's like yeah bro <laughs> like, like you would talk like that to you, but it's to establish like. Excuse me, sister. Mom said that you were gonna make lunch. She was like, "Oh, I got lunch for you, brother." He's like, "Well, fucking suck my dick then." And then that's like the start to the scene. And right? she's like, "Fine, if you'll shut up about it." Yeah. God. <laughs> about making lunch, I haven't come to any of those videos today. <laughs> Maybe it's because I mean I don't know. I'm just thinking of a therapy thing. Like, are do you have to repress? Looking at your, I don't know, I don't have siblings. Like, do you have to repress that shit so deeply? No, it's not. A, I think it's a, just a, people love naughty. Yeah, I think super it's taboo. Like, like, taboo. Oh. It's not even the idea they would never fuck their sister. Ever. Gross. Disgusting. But then they see that and they're like, it's so wrong. Like, it's yeah. wrong to watch. Oh, the wrong. It's also because yeah. they're watching two yeah. strangers do it. Oh, right. It's not like your actual brother. Like, a f- if a family member was even in your sexual zeitgeist, then uh. you really have an issue. But I think it's because they're like, I don't know these fucking people. Right. These are just two weirdos, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. watching do weird shit. And you're like, that girl's so really weird. fucking her brother? That's Crazy. nuts. I definitely got to come to it. I see this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then wouldn't you think of your own relationship with your brother? I don't know. No. I don't know. Um, I, we I, were sent this last week. Apparently, I didn't know this. <laughs> oh, but changing the subject. I, I got to show this to Andrew. I got to see it. Um this this has been around for a couple of years. I thought this was new to us. Yeah. But this video has been around for a couple of years. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is what's been around. Uh, we played it last week. Oh, God. Good morning, Julia. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. Wish you a great day. Tell you that meeting you yesterday and getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. You were so beautiful. You don't know how beautiful you are to me. Mm-hmm. So I mean, just you're gorgeous, you're precious. Mm-hmm. He met her at a club and got her number, and then she woke up to this. This nice is guy your inbox, mm-hmm. sweet guy, sweet so far. Yeah, you're gorgeous. He's got a good goatee. He combed yeah, his hair. Yeah, yeah. He's got the fan running. <laughs> I like that this guy. He's almost too. It's it's a great goatee. It's, it's in the it's in the in, in the world of goatees. He's got it. That's the one. Oh, man. That's, he's yeah. got a cute little butt chin underneath there, so the more yeah. hair is growing in the crevice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been sitting in my mind when you said to me you want to go back with your ex-boyfriend. Oh, oh, God, please man. erase him from your memory. Please don't ever go back in the past. I know, because I've been there, and I understand when <sighs> you know you're trying to find somebody and you go on dates, and nothing compares to your ex. But hold on, he was religious, by the way. You did see the cross in the hallway. I saw oh. it. I saw it. Well, this is just like, letting you know what kind of guy yeah, he is. Yeah, he's yeah. a good guy. He's a good guy. 
He um, <laughs> he also will <laughs> lets her know that if she were to not go back to her ex and mm. go with him, that she would forget about her ex. I will love you like you've never been loved before. I believe it. I will cherish you. Mm-hmm. I'll make you f- he feel like a He likes those fans, a real doesn't he? He does like and Believe fans. me. After you experience me, you won't even know who your ex-boyfriend is. Hey, yeah. It's like a, almost like the I make you come it's guy. A threat. Yeah. S- similar proposal. Yep. Yeah. And then a lot of cool it. guys on this podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a creepy guy Open episode. Your heart Open your to heart. me in your arms. Oh boy. Both. Let's go full throttle. Oh yeah. I could see me falling in love with you. <gasps> with you. Just I don't know. I just looked in your eyes and I just melt. Uh. Wow. This guy's a fucking romantic. Yeah, I right. I gotta tell you, I'm I'm liking this guy a lot. <laughs> yeah. I like everything Would he's you got going. Set on. this guy up with his sister. With my or, sister. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 Let's see what else he's got to say. I mean, I'm so interested in this guy's rhetoric. <laughs> Do you? When you? For me, when I see something like this, uh, my immediate feeling is like my new a, best friend. My new best friend, <laughs> who I'm so humiliated for. Yeah. But I also go like, because uh, we were talking about last week that this is what happens in my mind is I start thinking about embarrassing things that, that you've done yes yeah and i get washed over with that uh mm. shame i got i, get I got videos i got videos that are pretty similar to this so <laughs> yeah pretty close what's pretty, the worst one and how pretty, old are yeah, you tell us one, tell pretty us close one. 34 <laughs> when the first one came. no um <laughs> probably uh probably put out a little um oh, God. i was probably on the cusp of the first round of dick pics and uh sent a uh Sent a halfy. I thought that was what's that? Fun. Like just not a fully, just like a half, a half a chub. You know, like oh, okay, okay, yeah. I mean, I've never gotten one because he and I hooked up in the time of Friendster. Oh like, yeah, I've never even. So wait, well, I've so never sent my wife a dick pic. No chance. When no. you sent no, no, this no, no. picture, mm-hmm. like a half, little halfy. Do you text it? Yeah, it was a text. Okay, okay. And what was no? The, was I think it was an email. Response? To be honest with you, an email. Yeah, I think it was an email. A pick email. Bold, bold. Was there a response? Um, no, and that probably is the. That's, That's probably the nail in the coffin. Yeah. And how because did you meet this girl? And like, what's the? Sh- it was like friend of a friend type of shit. Don't really know her that well. A lot of flirting. Um, I thought, real horny. I'm gonna send you this penis pic. Uh, got no response and got uh, nothing ever again. I think it was an indication of my, my lack of skill. Really? Yeah. Was there? Um, but it wasn't at a, like you weren't just like, oh, I met you. Here's a dick pic. There was like a lot. No, nah, there's a lot of communication. And then she saw it. And Ghost. Was like, yeah. yeah, not a cool penis. Bye. Not a cool penis. Bye. That's my name of my bio. The picture. Will yeah. you send me the picture. You I'll send you the photo. Okay, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a, it's just half. It's half. That's. Yeah, but I here's what I'm thinking. It's like, hey, I'm getting I excited. I bet you. I bet you it was. It's better than you think it is. I think it got sent around to friends. Yes, of course. I, it's yeah. Nah, if that hurts. I got that some hurts. dude's yeah. dick pic and, and I was like, ew, I'd show it to all my friends. Yeah. And Do you it. hear people? I painted a little face on it on the top. No. Do you hear people call your city Chicago? Chicago, oh God. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I don't like Chi Town either. That bothers me so much. Really? It's uh, we don't say that, mm. right? It's like someone being like the Big Apple. You're like, no one's ever said that about New York. <laughs> right, who right. the fuck? Who puts <laughs> this or out there? That's where I'm from. France. I was born and raised here in the Big, <laughs> Big Apple. Apple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what about Illinois with the hard S? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Illinois. Nope. It's not. Yeah. Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Chi Town. You know, or I any never of the, that really stuff is picked. Chi City. Nope. Chi City. No. I never really picked up on the R in Chicago. Chicago. And it would be, she would always joke, if we, especially if we were announcing dates and we're like, we'll be, and she'll go, we'll be in Chicago. And I would laugh. Intentionally. Not. And then, yeah, Chicago. Yeah, it's terrible. I never, then, like, the one week I go, oh, I was flying uh, in the United Way. I think I was going to Denver. And the lady. On the on the you know the PA system in that wing here at LAX is like flight twenty six twenty eight to Chicago is boarding now and I was like no fucking way it's like I had never paid attention to it where it's does horrible. the R come from they throw it in I, why I, I don't know I think because Chicago sounds so dumb I don't know people say Chicago so it sounds like the I Did think they say it in the city like, no no yeah but in Chicago it's such like a thick like Chicago is such a thick accent that yeah. the A's Depending on what part you're from, so they say Chicago. Ah, yeah. the emphasis is all on the ah. But when people say Chicago, it sounds like oh, oh, oh there, Chicago. There. That's where it comes. Yeah, from. Chicago, Maybe. Chicago, Chicago. Yeah, I, the, the, but people in the city, Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Chicago. Okay. It's like the mo. It's the worst. It's almost as bad as like hearing a woman with a Boston accent. That's the that's the most unattractive. That that's your is. favorite. Ugh. I was I did my when I did my um half hour for Comedy Central in Boston and when I left, some girls like uh some girls like, Hey <laughs> I'm trying to do a Boston. She's like, 
my friend thinks you're cute. And oh, I was like, yeah. Right. She goes, yeah, my friend wants to fuck you. And I'm not, I'm not making this up. I had a slew of people around me. I go, thank you very much. So my girlfriend's right there, you know, 10 feet away. Another girl goes, I'm a friend. I'm think- I I want to fuck you. Like right there. She's talking for her friend right there. I was like, this is the most sexy, trashy. <laughs> my friend, th- she wants to fuck you. I'm her friend. I want to fuck you. <laughs> it's like Boston has this like just brashness to it. And it's- that, that Baltimore okay. accent's no good either. No. Right. Ba- or, well, Philly. It's like yeah. house home yeah. over there. It's the same. It's, yeah, it's you, like mid Atlantic. Yeah, yeah it. use is sexy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's on. It's on. I'll suck your yeah. dick. It's yeah. on. It's on. Yeah, but Chicago for some reason, girls that are, have hardcore Chicago accents. Yeah. Especially if they're like, you know, Chicago girls. You like it? It's just no. It's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. Yeah, because I thought you were Chicago's be like, right. got this like this like. It just sounds so dumb. Like you guys want to go out and fuck around and party? It's like this weird. It sounds. You sound dumb. <laughs> it sounds dumb. It's not. It's not hot. I don't think there is. I don't even. The southern accent's not good for me either. I don't know what chick. Broadcast uh, it sounds English. like you're you're cutting out most accents. I yeah. can't. I don't like accents. Yeah. yeah. What are you into then? Just people. Just regular. Just talk. regular old Where, girls. Where's your uh, wife from? Denver. Okay. That's they normal. talk like us. Like people. Yeah. Just normal like time. regular ass old people. Yeah, she used to tell me though. She's like, "Oh, you know, you have a big accent." I was like, "I have a nondescript accent." No, and she's when, like, "No." When we started dating, you'd be like, "Christina, nah. you had that Carolina thing." But that's that now. get over here, Christina. Yeah, Christina. get over here, Christina. Yeah, see, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's what my 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 dad's from North Carolina, and yeah. that's so. But that's fun. Those are fun accents. Yeah, come on, come on, boy. Christina. Is he from? He's from Carolina. Yeah, he's from this a small town called Valdez. Oh yeah, it's about it's like this big. Everybody over there, boy. Andrew. I was say, Andrew. Well, how's Hollywood, boy? Shout out to Randolph County. <laughs> it's good out there, huh? What's up in Hollywood? Girls swimming pools. You doing drugs? You don't do drugs? No, I don't. No, That's no really how he talks? That's how the, the family talks. The fa- yeah, yeah. He doesn't. He's lived in Chicago for so long, he doesn't. But everybody else up there? Hollywood. Look Hollywood, at you, yeah. fancy boy. Well, huh? did you see when... Uh, you rich? Oh, that's big, uh, big on that. I get that from friends from the South. My foreign cousins have less references to show business. Uh, so they go, eh, how is a Hollywood Mr. Steven Spielberg? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not a director. And they're like, you are a Spielberg to me. You're a Spielberg to me. Yeah. Where are these people from? Peru. Oh, wow. And they're Spielberg. Like, they're like, I tell everyone that my cousin is a Steven Spielberg. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You are kind of, you look a lot alike. <laughs> yeah, we have beards. Little tiny Jewish yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, same thing. I like the Southern accent. That I mean... The one thing I don't like is the valley. I grew up in the valley. Yeah, that's and, like, tough. But I really don't like is I don't hate. I hate vocal fry and up speak. And I feel like a lot of girls now are doing this. Vocal that's the one that makes I'll me agree crazy. that that's the worst of all the ones. But but yeah. that's but that's not even like a regional thing. That's like a cultural made up thing. Yeah, it's, it's a, not even from a place. It's just kind of like people it is have just made, made up. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah Megan and I yeah. have been together for nearly three years. Oh. She's a beautiful girl who I'm yeah. very much in love with uh, and I have a lot in common with. Uh, I can't wait to get home and jump in the pool. 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 That's a man. Yeah, that's a <laughs> In dude. the pool. That's, yeah. a man. that's a man who could kill us. I, mean, I guess I could shit on every accent. Like San Diego, tough. I can't, like... Dude, the that'd bros? be a great special if you did a special. Shitting on you accent. You just shit on every, no, every single accent. <laughs> you just, like, you know what accent? You start with one that everyone's like, yeah, that accent sucks. And you just keep every one of them you just do every accent Sa- these fucking brits san diego's fucking like uh we're down there fucking we were fucking ripping dude and i like that one that's I what i grew up with i like that, that. that I like bros. that's like but how can you be a professional with that you can't bro no it's so like basically SoCal, bro. so basically your w9 is fucking <laughs> totally filled out dude like it's such that's, a that's, weird that's spot on actually. you can't be a pro with that i love what it. about this sexy accent anyhow <laughs> i'm heading off to work this Have is my work. cute little home. My everything home. you see behind me, Yours. I behind built everything. Me. Every square inch from crown molding to chair rail to floors to lighting to plumbing, Jesus. doors, windows. I did it all. But not the roof. I don't fuck with roofs. <laughs> 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 he said he did electric and plumbing, too. He's That's a legit. sweet guy. He is a sweet guy. He is. He must, sweet he's also I mean, like that. If, if that guy's your friend, he is... He's like, you want to ride to the airport? Oh, You're my like, God. You're going to do it? Oh, yeah. He's, He's like, like, dude, yeah. I'll drop you off at the airport, then I'll wait for you to fly back. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And he would. If like, if, if you said that something Aww. broke, he'd be like, don't hire somebody. What? You know I'll do it. You know I'll come by. Like, I'll so pay for sweet. the parts. He's like, nah, I pay for the parts. What are you yeah. talking about? Come on, man. It's me. It's Penny. <laughs> I get you the parts. So this is the type of guy you're getting. I'm a yeah. very you're handy getting. guy. Handy and, uh, guy. Get. I'd love to build you whatever you want. 
What do you want? A vanity? You're a sweetheart. A dresser? So, I hope this video doesn't scare you. It does? That's how I it feel. It sure does. I just want you to know that. Okay? Know that. And I look forward to uh, going out to dinner with you. So, Any way you want. You can order what you happen. want, too. Order <laughs> appetizers. Ciao, baby. You order Ciao, entree. baby. Do you want to get one of them espressos afterwards? Espresso. I'll pay for that too. <laughs> Bothers me so much. Library. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. get, yeah, we are the we hate all that. Library, espresso. Espresso. Uh, Amberlance. Amber, the Amber lamps. Amber lamps. Supposedly. Supposedly is tough. Yeah. Or or uh uh especially. 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 All really intensive dumb. purposes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Irregardless. I have, I have Irregardless yeah. is used all the time. Yeah. All intensive purposes, I got to admit, I thought that was until I was about 36. Intensive. <laughs> intensive, yeah. I also thought until I was, I think, a few years into dating her, I thought the expression was ahead of the curb. Yeah. Ahead of the curb. Well, okay, how about this one? Do and you I didn't think, I was like, yeah, I didn't, I was like, well, the curb, you want to park away? Sure, park that would make sense a little bit, though. Is it kitty corner or caddy corner? <laughs> Oh, oh fuck. it's catty, catty corner, corner, right? See, I say kitty corner, kitty but it is catty corner. I, it is, it is. But for years, I, I know a bunch of people that say kitty corner. Maybe it was accent threw you off. Uh, maybe maybe. It was one of those dumb fucking accents. Kitty corners, yeah. Huh? Kitty corner. <laughs> That's catty corner from over there. Catty corner. Kitty, He's saying kitty catty corner. Kitty, kitty catty corner. I, I thought it was combative. Remember? Yeah, you did think that. Com yeah. that combative. Yes, yeah, and an she extra... called me out yeah. when I was like, it was this combative situation. She's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it? I'm like, the correct word. And she's like, it's combative. It's combative. Yeah. Hey, I have two and foreign I had to parents. Look it up. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's not your fault. Yeah, they that's spoke English fault. wrong. English is they your did. eighth language. Yeah. Yeah. Man, come on. No, come it, on. It, it, I learned English from the television. It hurt. I had one foreign parent and. It definitely, you just hear wrong shit all, all day. Your whole life. That's all you hear from them. I know. Yeah. There's so you, many if words you don't have I the other, If I didn't have them to balance it out, I don't know what I would be saying right now. I know. There's no way I would talk for a living. <laughs> no but, way. But TV fixes all that. It does That's help. how I learn. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That's fucking wild too. And me. also, um, your friends coming over and being like, your mom says the dumbest fucking shit. I know. That too. That helps. That helps. That helps. Yeah. Quicken your it out. Parent, your friends are always like, what's she saying? I'm like, it's just, I'll tell yeah. you later. Like, don't worry about Ignore. it. Ignore. I like. I used to love going over to friends' houses, and the parents would yell at them in a foreign language. I I loved that. I yeah. thought that was so fun. It was so personal and their own little thing. You, you could know? have heard that plenty at our yeah. homes. I like that though. That made <laughs> Come me on laugh. Come over. Because mm -hmm. then you don't know how much trouble they're in. You're like, oh shit, yeah. what did she say to him? It always <laughs> sounded more intense. You know? Oh fuck yeah! Like like my when my mom would yell, she's not like a huge yeller all the time. But when she would yell, it sounded like, oh, you're definitely you're grounded, right? Yeah, like, you're fucked. And I'd be like, no, she just. She told me to finish dinner. Yeah, <laughs> like, clean up the a, plates. Yeah, yeah. That's it. stop fucking around. Oh. I had a, this is a crazy situation. I have to tell you, this happened two days ago. I'm walking home back uh, in the neighborhood. A water balloon almost hits my wife in the face. I what? mean, like a, an inch. You're walking in your neighborhood. Walking in the neighborhood, water balloon almost hit. And you know those big McMansions that are all around West Hollywood. Okay, so there's like three in a row on my street, and uh, I mean, I'm talking like literally just breeze past her, and Jesus, I was like, what the what? fuck? I look up. Lights are off. Lights are off in this other home, and I'm like, it came. From, you can just tell. You know, you know where it came yeah, from. Yeah. I go to the first house. You know, ring the doorbell. You know, she's like, "Come on, let's go." And I'm like, "No, fuck that. Fuck." Yeah. Like I'm, I'm on one. I'm like, "No." This guy comes out. And I'm like, "You got kids that live here, man?" And guy's like, "What?" No, he barely speaks English. No, I go, "Kids, do you have kids?" No, no, no. Go to the next house. Ring, ring, ring. I see lights going on and off, and I'm like, "They're there. Yeah. I know they're there." Finally, ring again. Guy gets on the intercom. Uh, can I help you? I said, you got teenagers that live here, man? He goes, yeah, why? I go, my wife almost got hit in the fucking face with a water balloon. He goes, what? Hold the fuck on. <laughs> guy, I'm not kidding. I fell in love with this guy instantly. He comes outside, comes to the gate, and he goes, are you fucking serious? And I go, yeah. She almost hit her in the face, man. That's fucked up. I mean, that could have really fucked her up. I mean, it was from a two-story roof. Oh my God. And he goes, you want to scare the shit out of my kid? And I go, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> he goes, hold, hold on. He come, goes upstairs brings down this little skinny little 15 year old kid I mean you know like skin and bones and his little tiny Asian friend who's probably just never ever been in trouble in his entire life and he comes downstairs and he's got he's pushing him towards me and he oh. goes tell him what you did tell him what you did and the kid's like oh we I, we threw and I go you tried to throw a water balloon at my wife he goes yeah yeah I, I did I did and I go you apologize to her face right now he said I'm, I'm so sorry like so, I mean I mean you could tell he's like breaking yeah. down yeah. Uh. and then and then his dad goes you know what I told him and kid's like huh and he goes I told him he could hit you once <laughs> and I didn't know he was going to throw that at me and so yeah. I'm kind of like even as a stand up I was yeah. like oh shit that's funny yeah that's very funny and I go I, I go yeah he did he said that to me and he goes yeah I told him he could hit you one time and the kid is look I mean he's genuinely like because his dad did not look like 
His dad looked like a fucking tough piece of shit, too. Yeah. Like, his dad was a punk motherfucker who's like, yeah, yeah I told him he could hit you in the face, both of you. And he's like, no, but I, but we're sorry. And, we, and, and then he's like kind of hiding behind his dad, like, no, no, no. And I go, come out here. Come outside come outside the gate. And he goes, do it. Do what the fucking man says. <laughs> and at some point, I'm like, I have to stop doing it. My yeah, wife yeah, is yeah. giving me like the, come on, this is yeah. fucking insane. Yeah. He pushes his son towards the edge of the gate. And I go, I go, give me your hand. And he's like, give me your hand. And he gives me his hand. And I shook his hand. I go, don't throw shit at people anymore. He was like, Bro. I, I watched his whole body like, Dude, I, oh my God. That's Aww. fucking crazy. He thought I was going to like yeah, pull his yeah. fucking arms, do something fucked his up to him. His dad is a real one though. Dude, I mean, you gotta so after he, sends like a kid, after he sends a kid inside, I give him a big handshake and you know we're talking a while. You know, and I was, I, I, he goes, thanks for doing that. That helps me sometimes. Da, da, da. You know, he's like, I don't know if these fucking kids to control these fucking assholes. I was, <laughs> I was like, dude, I was a punk piece of shit when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. But he's like... He's like, yeah, but if I don't do stuff like this, they they just do whatever the fuck they want. He's right. Yeah, yeah. he's like, I, I, usually, I usually take a belt to him and beat the shit out. Oh, and I I was hoping he, I was waiting for him to be yeah. like, yeah, no, I'll crack him in the fucking head when you leave. <laughs> but he kept saying it the way he said it to him because I told him he could punch you. I told him he could hit you once. It's almost like he said that yeah. before, yeah, yeah. and now it's finally gonna happen. Right, right, right. He goes, I'll let somebody hit you. That's a fucking brilliant dad move. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. You Especially know, I, if because like you really that. shouldn't be fucking throwing, you know, like oh, dude. No. that kid's not gonna throw those balloons off. No, no way. I mean, you could he I wa you watched him go through the waves of like oh, for panic, sure. like genuine fear, a like actually feelings like scared, like hurt, like gonna cry type of shit. Like, yeah. you watch him go through all those as a teenager, yeah. like because you're what you're doing dumb shit as a teenager. You don't think about anything. You're like, no. we're just fucking around. And if yeah, you get yeah, away yeah. with one level. Then you go to the next oh, level. Yeah. Like totally. I remember, you know, it starts with like egging something. Oh yeah. Next you're gonna steal some shit from yeah. the place. Next you're gonna vandalize. Like if you don't Same get caught. Same with drugs or hooking. You know, you give out hand jobs, you do blow jobs. You start hooking and once. You start eating guys' asses <laughs> on the street. Then I'm planning up. You know, uh, planning but up. But seriously, getting wet, and you're doing crazy shit. <laughs> getting a, wet, wet. Get wet. But as a teenager, I remember and, until I got caught doing stuff. You just keep yeah. it keeps escalating. Because it's, it's normal you though. Fucking, you're testing boundaries. Yeah. Like, what can I get away with? How much shit can I fuck up? Sure. Oh man, I was such a punk. Fucking kid, so we used fun. to garage hop. You know what that is? What's mm -mm. that? That's such a Midwest. When people leave their people in the Midwest leave their garages open. You know, like you know, because they they drove their car home and they're doing something in or outside and yeah, coming and going. They just leave it open. About it, yeah. yeah, we would go in there and steal whatever they had in there. Oh shit! <laughs> beer mostly is what you're hunting for because in the Midwest most people have fridges in their garages. Yeah, yeah. So you just hunt for beer and then also if there's some other shit. Take it all. Just take everything you can. Jesus. Cool, man. This guy's got a nine iron. I'm just going to take this shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck. I like golf. Take yeah. it. You know, we were just pieces of shit. We tried to break and steal and do whatever we could. Yeah. You test so, the boundaries. Yeah. Then you get hit by dad and- And you know. You stop. But that's great because I think about our two boys. You're going to have to regulate. Dude, you got to. You got to You got to let flex. them get punched by a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do have to let them be, you know, get checked. You don't have to let totally. them Dad's yeah. got to check them. But you have yeah. to let them get checked publicly. That's cool. Uh, I don't know why he trusted me. Maybe because I don't. I don't. I look like I have it together. Yeah. But for yeah. some reason, like, what a bad move if he's like, go ahead, hit my kid. I'm like, fuck yeah. He's <laughs> he's like, what are you kid. doing? <laughs> you yeah. told me to hit him, bro. I thought you fucking had some sense to you. No, no. <laughs> All right, get the fuck out of here. And he's like, sorry, kid. Yeah. How did he know you were a decent human being? That's pretty crazy. I because the conversation we had yeah. beforehand was pretty pretty obvious. I said, yeah, he almost hit my wife in the face. He knew I was gonna punch a kid with a woman with yeah, me. That's yeah, true, yeah, that's true. That's true. But if I was alone, yeah, <laughs> your kid almost hit me with the balloon he'd have been like ah okay like, fuck off he's like get these brass knuckles put these on yeah. I can really hit my kid God, I fucking knock his teeth crack out crack his fucking jaw Jesus um, where can people are you are you roading it are you road dogging it in and out a little bit um, I'm in Chicago right here Chicago. on the on, on Chicago I go back to Chicago where are you gonna go where I'm gonna playing? be at the Bee Kitchen playing two shows hey. on Friday night doing my own thing cause oh. I played venues there yeah and then it's home for me so I was like I'm just gonna do a, my own little thing good for you yeah so I'm doing that uh, Friday uh, Friday the 21st that's this week and then the next the following weekend the 26th in September I'll be Madison, Wisconsin, comedy on state. Amazing oh. club. My favorite fucking club. Andrew's one of the best comics working today. You got to go you, see man. him do stand. Absolutely. I've seen you multiple it's the times. the best. So we funny. Love you. you have a Thank special you. out that people can watch? Yeah, it's on Showtime. Yeah, you can watch it on Showtime. If you don't have Showtime, I've ripped it on my Twitter. Go to my oh, Twitter. There you go. Yeah, because hey. Showtime has this weird, you know, they don't let, whatever. They What's don't, it uh, called? Uh, home Field Advantage. Home Field Advantage. I shot it at Chica in Chicago. But yeah, go go rip it off my Twitter if you don't have Showtime. <laughs> I don't give. I was like, fuck, because I asked them. I was like, can I have permission, dude? You guys hide this stuff. Yeah, I, people need to see it. If it's not on Netflix, it's like, I don't think they know that they're of like. Course. It's hard to find. Yeah. So they were like, no, we can't give you clips or anything. Like that. So I ripped it myself, and I was like, go ahead, fine. 
Actually, it's not on my account. Somebody else's YouTube. So there yeah, you go. You just, uh, and I'll just keep putting it up if they keep taking it down. There you go. Yeah, man. Home field advantage. Welcome. Renegade shit. Andrew Santino. Welcome. Uh, and for face. tickets, is it AndrewSantino.com? <laughs> AndrewSantino.com, yeah. All right. Um, Thank you. You were fantastic. Yeah, Thank thanks you for coming. coming. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to stay here. All, all right, okay? stay yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. see you guys Great. next week. This is uh, an old one here. This is what? Ali uh, Zimzer. What is, what's it called? <laughs> Double Pipe Classic. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.